Stop being so sensitive, bitch. You ain't no bad bitch for real. I seen you before you got your ass and titties done. Is Trina there? Trina! World, are y'all ready? You know what's up when this sound begin. We about to go in. Let's do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You ain't never seen no show like this. Cracking jokes and singing, we won't miss. 5150 up in this bitch. Yeah, you ain't never seen a show like this. Ghetto folks gonna be all in their bliss Trying to make you laugh until you piss yeah. Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah 5150 2022 It's on I'm about to say some real things Hit the mic and bring the pain Cause you ain't never seen no show like this Yeah We on 50 1 50 in the house Putting that real shit in your mouth Listen, let me tell y'all something I already understand You don't see you, know, you ain't familiar. You ain't familiar. That's what it is. You're not familiar with what's going on because it looked different. Darlene will be here shortly. I am Corey Holcomb, OG 5150. I want to introduce y'all to a homeboy of mine. Detroit in the motherfucking house. My man Spud right here, you dig what I'm saying? Spud, what up? 5150 and it's biatch. That's what's up? Uh, Spud's birthday was uh, the 10th, Sunday. Virgo on this motherfucker. So I'm like, fuck it, man. Come on up here and talk this shit with us. Y'all will warm up the Spuds, but I ain't got a motherfucker do no motherfucking co-sign. And this man right here, he talk this shit with us. He be out there with us on Monday night sometime. You dig what I'm saying? Uh, where motherfuckers feel like the streets is they production. And I want to <laughs> say that shit to all you bitch-ass niggas who looking to go tell the next nigga something. Look, I'm going to tell y'all this. The streets is not a production for you, motherfuckers. You can't record niggas on the motherfucking street and feel like everything is everything. I'm talking to anybody who think they could pull out a camera and just start recording niggas on the streets. That is going to bring shit that you really don't, it's like, it's like, why would you think you could record the streets? What we do outside is on, on the streets is for the streets. It's not for you to try to capture and produce. I say that to anybody who got anything to say. You bitch ass niggas make your phone calls to the next man and say, oh, Corey shit, all that fuck shit. I'm still Corey. I'm saying this for a reason, because, you know, on Monday nights, we be out there, we be all be signifying, right? Right, right. And as we have started signifying, because the show inside be better than the other show that's out. I mean, on, on Monday night, man, you know what I'm saying? I love the improv. I love to kick it at the improv. The improv, they they treat me good and all like that. But this is what I'm saying. They telling you to turn your volume up on your mic, Corey. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, can't, I can't do nothing about it. It's straight. Y'all hear me? The point I'm trying to make is, man, you know, they got to put together a show for comedians on Monday. Right. Monday night, the urban night at the improv. And I'm just saying, a lot of times that shit, like, it be 
funny comics that pop through here once in a while. Really, a lot of times, them motherfuckers be whack, though, to be up there on Monday. The show really be outside. This man ain't biased. This is just a man speaking from his heart. And I'm not hating on the nobody. Show, the, I'm just saying. The funny shit be outside, be outside, don't it? As you can see, that's why them whole ass niggas bringing them cameras out here. Now. So because the motherfucking show that's inside ain't shit most of the time. Facts. I want to tell you why it ain't shit. Because they record that. So all the comedians that really got something to do, that's trying to make it, they not in there being recorded for some future type of bullshit that they got planned up in there. That's what they do. They record you. See, motherfuckers who ain't talented love to record talented motherfuckers. I stand on that. It's not a mistake what I'm saying. If this, this, if this description fits you, step up. Untalented motherfuckers love to record talented motherfuckers. I agree. So now, a lot of the talent be out there on the street. So motherfuckers trying to justify recording motherfuckers on the streets. All I'm saying, if you out there on the streets with a camera in front of niggas from the motherfucking streets, whatever come, gonna come. Right. But I don't know why motherfuckers think they can record the streets. I mean, them people who are in charge of the world, they got cameras up in the hood, but they foul. Right. Man, it's well, a motherfucker got some nerve not to even ask your permission. They just come stick a motherfucking camera in your face. It ain't like you regular. You a bona fide certified comedian who get paid for doing your craft. So why would you want somebody to record you anyway and to capitalize off of that anyway? Man, that listen, shit don't make man. no sense anyway. Motherfuckers are delusional, man. Yeah. Motherfuckers are delusional. Motherfuckers do shit, dog. It, I, I got told this. Well, we'll just put some signs up out there to say recording in place. Motherfucker, you put them signs up to say recording in place, that's going to run more motherfuckers from up there. The buster niggas love to run the talent away. And I'm so close to having to check certain people because motherfuckers is trying to find a way to justify putting the camera in your motherfucking face when we be up there kicking it. Well, this, that, and the other. Well, this, that, and the other. Man, look. And all you bitch-ass niggas who run back, because see, this is what happened. When I talk on my show, bitch-ass niggas get in touch with other motherfuckers. Corey said this. Corey said that. Then motherfuckers is calling me. Look, man, everything I say, I stand on. Keep them cameras out my face. If it's motherfucker up there who want to get recorded, record them. But don't put them cameras in my face on Monday night when I'm up there at the shit because it's foul. And it's an evasion of privacy, too. You up there just to kick it. You ain't up there performing. That's your leisure time when you come to relax and enjoy your fellow friend. Right. So that shit ain't cool And anyway. on top of that, see, it's already security cameras going on. Right. And I never trip because they got to have somebody watching what happened. Right. But these motherfuckers are recording us standing on the street. A motherfucker might have some cocaine in his pocket. <laughs> A motherfucker might put his finger in a bitch ass or something. Anything. It's all on camera. This is what I'm saying. You don't record the streets. But what is their purpose for recording anyway? What Envy. the fuck are they recording for? Envy. Motherfuckers watch. See, let me tell you something. That shit that happened on the streets where everybody be laughing, that's the truth. Right. That shit that they put together inside, they, they lost credibility with so many motherfuckers. Man, last time I did the show inside, man, I was all on Facebook. And I ain't saying it was the people who do it, because I know the people who are in charge of the improv, they ain't living like that. They put your performance on Facebook? Little motherfuckers be sneaking and recording, man. You know what I'm saying? I can't, I can't go up at the, at the look, fuck it. I can't go up at the nigga night, don't get paid nothing, right. and just get recorded and put on Facebook and whatever. really you going up there showing love, to be honest. Going up there you showing don't love. have to do See, it. See, the people who really in charge of the improv, I fucks with them. Right. The people who really in charge. Not the motherfuckers who act like, hey, this is my shit. Oh, man, get the fuck out of here. I didn't have so many motherfuckers tell me this day, night. This ain't your night. I know who you work for, motherfucker. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I know the man who run the improv. He's the motherfucker who discovered me and told me to come to L.A. He a black dude? No, he's a Caucasian man okay. named Robert. He is one of the reasons I'm in L.A. Mm -hmm. That's his shit. They run that shit. Everybody else is perpetrating like they run it. 
That's they shit that they allow certain shit to happen. But the big wigs don't know everything. They don't know it's a motherfucker outside trying to produce a show with motherfuckers from the streets without the motherfuckers from the streets' permission. You mean this motherfuckers are janky promoters? Man, these motherfuckers is little thirsty damn. motherfuckers who get their nickels and dimes for doing that shit. But acting up. like it's motherfucking, they in charge of what happens and they in charge of who do what. Motherfucker, ain't nobody in charge of me, man. Ain't nobody in charge of me. And the motherfuckers who really are in charge of things, I got respect for them, they got respect for me, and I'm glad. Right. And, and the respect came from shit being earned, not the shit what I want to talk about with the next subject. Because this is some shit that needs to be talked about amongst the people. When you talk to a man and you talk greasy to a man, you are basically setting up war. Whenever you talk to any man and you ain't being straight up when you talking to him, you basically are antagonizing a fight. And... I, I, I'm a loner. I be by myself a lot. You know what I'm saying, Spud? Mm -hmm. But this motherfucker called me on the phone, man, and this motherfucker was talking so greasy, man. This motherfucker don't even know how to talk to me. And this a motherfucker that I got respect for as a hustler. Was he, but, he was just a regular dude or a comedian? What was street He in the entertainment business, but he, he doesn't know how to have a conversation with a man. Right. His whole thing is like used car salesman type shit. Come on in. <laughs> What's your social security number? Woo, woo, woo. This type of motherfucker right. here. I avoid these phone calls. I got motherfucking big wig motherfuckers who be calling me. You should have hung up on that motherfucker. I, I didn't want to hang up on them, but I got to send them a text and let them know, man. Every time I talk to you, it seems like you you trying to talk me into something. Don't talk people into shit. When you talk people into shit that you know they don't want to do, eventually they, they think about it. And they be like, that motherfucker got me. Well, evidently he don't <laughs> know you because you don't seem like the motherfucker that you could just talk somebody, talk them into something any fucking way. Hey, man, look, there's some slimy motherfuckers in the world, man. I believe it. And I my world it. is peaceful for the most part. But, it, you know, as time goes by, slimy motherfuckers break through. And they get the whole of conversation. So they get you. through the force field. Right. You be like, oh, here this motherfucker go. Sitting here talking to me like I'm one of his bitches. So he trying to get you to do something? Man, look, it ain't oh, just. Oh, you don't want to go into it. I feel no, you, I'm saying like it ain't, it ain't nothing in particular. I'm talking about anybody that you allow in your presence, your energy, and all like that. If you know they slimy. You are being held hostage, allowing them to talk to you. It's some people, they boss be talking to them. They can't check they boss. So they energy get robbed and just balled up and shitted on and threw to the ground because this your boss. You know what right. I'm saying? You ready, D? Yeah. Come on in. We was talking about people like you. No, I'm <laughs> fucking with you, D. No, you're not. Sorry. Darlene OG, OT's is back, goddammit. Darlene, this is Spud. How you doing, Distinguished right? gentleman from Detroit, Michigan. How are you? I know you do. That's what's up. <laughs> you all right? I am, you? I'm wonderful. But now, when you at work and you got somebody who has rank over you that's in your face and you don't check them, don't it hurt when they leave? Don't you feel humiliated when they leave? People that are talking to you in a coercive way. When people talk to you in a coercive way, I no, it's, I'm just talking about people, like most of the conversations they have is them trying to talk to you in a way that's slick. And like they're the trying to talk you out of something. That's the majority of the motherfuckers you deal with though. They don't never come at you with a regular conversation. It's always they trying to finagle around something. Mm -hmm. You're right. They never talk normal. It's always an angle. That's why I be by myself, but. And is it fair to say that it's probably even worse in the entertainment industry? I like can't even really imagine. If the streets is like the like way that, that, I can't Can imagine, imagine the motherfucking oh, yeah. um, entertainment mm -hmm. industry. Yeah. The entertainment industry is people who done took dick in the ass and <laughs> felt guilty on the drive home. They got coerced out their ass. Now, if you get coerced out your ass, in my opinion, you are, you're a problem for society. If somebody can talk a dick in your ass, 
<laughs> you, you, they're a bad person, but you're, you're, you're part of the clutter that holds us back. You're the worst of the worst. If you've never stood up to somebody and said, hey, man, don't fucking talk to me like that, man. I'm not that kind of guy. Yeah. Don't try to take my good air away from my atmosphere. Then you, 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 you really not taking up for yourself out here because most of the people in the world that talk to you are going to talk to you in a way where they're trying to coer coerce you yeah. out of something. What? Even if even if what they trying to get is nothing, right. they just still want to be slick. They want to feel like they got something from you. They don't I, never want to be straight up with you. They they feel better thinking that they they didn't trick you out of something. And you know how you were saying that dick in the booty shit. I ain't gonna say no names, but I was in Long Beach, man, uh -oh. for my birthday. What happened and, in Long no, no, Beach? No, I was a motherfucker. One Did motherfucker. you say dick and long in the same paragraph? <laughs> no, what happened there? No, I did not. No, I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> <laughs> but I seen one of the motherfuckers from the 50 Cent Power shit, man. This motherfucker be tough in the movies. That nigga had oh, some booty shorts. <gasps> nigga had some booty shorts on, man. Yeah. And at some the, flip flops. At the, it was an event? No, he was just. Uh, they going to fuck with you oh, on here. Oh. They say Spud E24 White Castle. They, <laughs> Where That's what from? they do. We now nah, we from Detroit. he from Detroit. Oh, he from know Detroit? how to signify. Yeah, yeah, I fuck with white castles. Uh, I wish we could see some of these bitch ass motherfuckers <laughs> on this stuff. <laughs> well, you know what? They get they have fun doing that. Yeah, yeah. I, I love it though. I, I, I if welcome. Fans, nigga, they, but like if you got something going on, they'll come out and see you. I believe that. They just like to sit at home. Hey, and the talk fifty one fifty is deep. Mm. Hey, what that say in the blue? What the man say? In they the robbed blue. the Fila store. You silly. <laughs> they say this dude That's robbed cute. the Fila store. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, That's classic. Oh, they ain't say nothing. They just looked out. How do you spell that name? Mabusa. Mabusa. That's an Ethiopian or Nigerian. Mabusa. See, I know you know about shit like that. That's why I'm glad you own. Mabusa. You got some Arabic knowledge, right? Mabusa. Yeah. My brother's fuck. Alhamdulillah. Rabbil Alameen. That's all praises what, what that do, all praise due to a God, Lord of the world. Wow. That's what's up. That's all what's right. up. You, have, you also told me you've been to Mecca? Yeah, Is I that... went to Mecca, Saudi Arabia, Dubai. Yeah. That's what's up. Man, see, a lot of brothers don't um, get away from the States. Hey, and when you travel, it opens up your mind. That's right. And no, you know what's crazy, though, Corey? When you go to the Middle East, man, the majority of them people over there is black. They don't even show you that. Yeah, mm -hmm. the majority of the people over in the Middle East is black, man, mm -hmm. mm. and they only show you the light Arabs. Most of the Arabs is dark, man, like us. Wow, they be motherfuckers walking around looking just like you with a turban on. They be like fifty one fifty. Who wants to buy a churro? Anyway. Uh, wrong place, Corey. Wrong. I know place. it's the wrong place. That's oh, okay. why I said it on purpose, dude. <laughs> churro is out there with your people, right? Yes. <laughs> it's a lot of dark Mexicans, D. Did you know that? D dark. Uh, D thank black. you. And my daddy, my dad and my grandpa. Yeah, they're very dark. My grandmother was fair, but yeah. People don't know that, though. Because the Africans made it with the Spaniards. What well, the Spaniards did, what they did to the Africans, and that mm -hmm. made the old Mex. Understand. Mm -hmm. We got to understand what you're saying. What did the Spaniards do to the Africans? The, the Spaniards... The Dutch, the French, they were all part of the kidnapping, like you be talking to. Yeah, because Mexicans had to fight them off yeah, and, and they out forced there too. themselves on the Africans, and that's how the Mexicans came about. Then they kept race, race mixing with the white people, and that's how the Mexicans. The Mexicans is black. They origin come from blacks. These are niggas. So I can, <laughs> I can use the answer? No, I would never. <laughs> No, no, no. I know you knowledgeable, Spud. Ever since I met you, G, I watch you. Have you noticed that? I watch motherfuckers. When motherfuckers be in my presence, I watch them. I got to tell all the motherfuckers something, man. Corey ain't making a mistake when he ain't got up with you yet. Corey knows who you are. I know mm. motherfuckers, man. Your, your pedigree is out there. Your pedigree is out there. I know what you have done. I know what you do. I know once you get a string, you turn it into a negative yard. <laughs> I'm talking about motherfuckers be thinking, I don't know what I'm doing. Hey, Corey, so when we going to be? I'm like, you you know it's fucked up, though, man. You think I don't know you, motherfucker? When we be at the improv and the motherfucker come up to you and we be talking and start asking about the show, I just put my head down. <laughs> I said, this nigga, you ain't finna get on that show, especially if you a fuck nigga. Man. And they and they oh, think so you that were they, there to witness. Some I of see the... it all the time, wow. but he tried to be diplomatic. Hey, 
That's Go Mac right there. Hey, go doing, Spud, Go Mac. Go Spud, Mac. Man, my pleasure, brother. That's the man. He he run this thing over here. What's I up? You gonna make it got, up them stairs, boy? Got Fila on too. That's what I'm saying. You know he like, always like, got on some motherfucking sexy wee. shit. Hey, Go Mac, I'm up for adoption, man. <laughs> 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 That's a good one. Yeah, hey. I love it. I see he got the white feel off boots Ooh, on and shit. Hey, man. I know his socks clean and new and shit. He don't go to the laundromat. He got that paper. He throw hey, that hey, shit hey, away. Hey, Corey, I, I didn't it. know Webster was 34 when Michael Jackson was holding him in his arms. Yeah, he's a full grown man. <laughs> he might have been, he he been little in the body, but his asshole was blue open. <laughs> boy. Webster asshole was like that motherfucking letter B, but capital. Oh shit! So right, so they was me. actually on a date. They were, <laughs> they were on a date at the American Music Awards. But you know what? Uh, Webster used to put it on mic. I heard. If you've ever been around, a song. Leave me alone. <laughs> no, but in all fairness, if you ever been around a small person like like that, because that's not your typical like you know small person. He he yeah, was fidget. He like was you. really he was like uh what's his name, the 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 the, the white dude that passed. He was like mini mini me. Oh name? yeah, he was one. Of he them. was like him. He was really, really, so really small. So that's small. smaller than a midget. So what do you call that? I think nowadays you call them all small people. But he's just extremely small. But in all fairness, when you see them in person, have you ever been like up close to? No, I, I seen. I um, call them kneecap lookers. But here's the deal: you almost you want to pick them up because I was told I have a picture that you I had. Yeah. No, no, listen, I have a picture with me and Minnie Me, and we were at the Playboy Mansion, and my and and. My son's dad was like, because he was like, let's take, you should take a picture with him. It's his birthday. And I was like, all right. I got in a line, right? There's all these people wishing him happy birthday, you know, little uh, uh, Vern Troyer. And then little, you know. Yeah, the one from uh -huh. Austin Park. Exactly. And, and it just happens like that, that when they're that small, you look at them. And I was doing all this, oh, like, look, he's so good. And I said, exit. If you, D, if you get up to him and you pick up, I'm about don't you try he to pick him up? You want to pick him up because he's a little bald head dude. No, but he it, it's like almost like because you, your mind, your mind just thinks baby. He, they're so little. He seriously comes up to your knees. When like, I was when I was little and shit, I used to think um, midgets was like toys. Oh. I begged my mama well, to give me a midget for Christmas. I cannot. Now I've heard, God, I've, I've heard it all. I've heard it all. I've heard it all. Oh, there it is. There we are. And I was gonna walk up to him. And my ex was like, "Don't you pick him up?" And oh, he's so damn cute. Do you know that he's the height of three and a half toilet paper? He was like, "Look down my skirt." He's that little. Oh, he's that small. Do you yeah, know how many bitches he had though? That nigga a lot. Look at him. He had a little smoking the jacket on. Bitches. Well, that was a. Uh, I met him once before. We was on this. Um, they was filming a TV show called Bagging. Him. Yeah, yeah. and he was. He said something because we was talking about each other. I was like. Uh, <laughs> you want, he said something Corey, about you want me, to pick him up. and it was a table like this. I said, how much gum under this table, little <gasps> motherfucker? You, <laughs> I know he can see Is he it. still alive? Though? No, he, he died. died. Uh, he, yeah, he, he died. Had a short life. That's fucked up. I had That's to say it. That's fucked uh, up. Man. I didn't mean it bad, but it was a joke in there. Yeah, yeah it was a yeah. It was, yeah. But yeah, but I'm just saying all that to say that when you, there, it's, it, it's just un, you, you never you don't you. you're not around something like that all the time. I so wanted one for Christmas. I See, begged my I'm mama to get us some midgets for Christmas. <gasps> oh no. Do you well, know if you go to other countries, you can be with people like that intimately? Wait, 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 wait. What do you mean you can't? Other countries? If, if you go to other countries, you can be with like people a, like, like that intimately. Yes, yeah, a fetish in wait, certain wait, places. Wait, and not you, get in trouble. You can do that here, Corey. Where? They're, they're adults. They're just small. No, 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 Okay, no, wait, no. wait. You can't be with a man that's short legally. You breaking the law. What are you talking about? I don't care how old he is. When they that little, you can't sleep with him. Do you didn't know that? What are you talking? That is not oh against God. the law. Dude, you got to read up on your laws wait, out here. Wait, what? What? Are you you're serious so about that? So Mr. Dick is illegal? He's... He, 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 he. What do you mean? Uh, would you be attracted to somebody like that, Darlene? Yes, Darlene was like, No, anybody. I just wanted to pick him up. It was just so cute. It just, I had never seen, you, you know. But, what about, just, what about. And then about, that little mini smoking jacket. His shoes were like this. Come can on, you man. get with a midget, Spud? A, a, a woman like that? A small nah, person man, nowadays, Corey. No a small person. Well, but then again, okay. What are they called? They called midget, small no, people? No, they're called small people or small person. Cat boxers? Cat Raggedy. Remember that last week? I can't yeah, stop. Marcus here, Marcus said, Cat Raggedy over there. I couldn't see getting no hair from no midget, though. Why? Because it's just that not. Shit just, it seemed like I'm doing something wrong, man. I might have to repent after that. When they ride dick, their feet don't be on I, the ground if you got a gut. I, I, I knew we were supposed to change the subject after that. But anyway, anyway, fuck yeah. it. Mm. Fuck the midgets. That's so crazy. I still have cute toes, Max the Tax Collector. So anyway. I want to put y'all up on something. 
Nia Long is starting to go at Ime Adoka. Oh, no. And call him a deadbeat. Oh, no. I thought they were working it out. And he's not in his son's life. Uh, so she had a son with Ime Adoka? Yeah. I didn't yeah. know they had no Yeah, 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 yeah. They had a baby. Mm -hmm. They just never got married, but yeah, they have, well, how old is he, 12 now or 11, something like that. So, so he was a, fucking the staff, though. He was fucking the, the president's girl. Man, somewhere. he's 6'5", six, 6'1", six, six, how tall is he? 6'5", light skin motherfucker in there. He's fucking everybody. But, yeah. Dog, dog, let me tell you something, man. When I get a job at certain places, I already know I'm a fuck. Half these bitches up here. That's part of getting a job. A mess. Oh, of course. If you a man and you stand at least 5'11 and you ain't ugly, you gonna fuck half the bitches at any job you at. That is true. This man, 6'5", light skin, with me alone. Yo, bitch, get you pussy. Did you know that? And if you got a cute woman, the other bitches want to fuck you just because your girl is attractive. That's crazy. And but that's they're the not. Truth, and they weren't married. And the girl who was, especially in this case, that was right dealing with him, that the woman he was with, is the one who actually was booking like her flights and all her information as so to when baby. she comes in. Wow. So it was like the. So look, do we do we do we ever get a picture of her, or I, is she still here? I think so. You I see that right there. When women see a picture like that, they're going to want to give you pussy. You the would, envy yeah. inside of a woman <laughs> oh has God. always been hid, and, 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 and they don't want you to see what it is. But look, if you're a smart man and you want to fuck half the bitches at your job, you could rent a woman so they don't know who your real woman is and not be all in her face. You could rent a woman to walk in a place with you and it automatically turns you into a target because most women are frustrated to see two people smiling with each other and look <laughs> like they happy. I like that, that's funny as hell. That is funny. Hey, you, you right though. You you can hire a bad bitch just to bring you some lunch. Just to just to be seen bitch, with you. Bad bitch don't it's all strategic. You. And then you you money from that point on. Oh my lord. You wanna, you look, go on a boat cruise and pay a bitch who attractive to go on that boat cruise with you and y'all be seen together night one. By night two, you fucking all the bitches on the boat. Wow. I guarantee you, all they gotta do is see you with a woman and you're happy. Yeah. Don't let the bitch be attractive. <laughs> if you with a, a cute girl and y'all smiling together, all them bitches give you some pussy. <laughs> why, you guarantee. Think, why you think bitches like that though? Why, why do you think that they do shit like that? Inherently wow. evil, uh, and it's no control to it. I think evil. that I think <laughs> that if a woman has been trained to take control of those natural emotions that come over her, then she will be a better person. I've said this before. I have a niece. She was number three or four years old. My niece always happy, smiling, everything when she see me. One day, I walked in my mama house with a girl that was attractive. My niece did this, three or four years old, she said. <laughs> <laughs> she was mad. Isn't I said, crazy? what's wrong with you? She was hating. I said, are you, dog, oh, it's okay. Woo, 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 she did like this. Wow. But motherfuckers act like this ain't true because it sounds No, it is true. That happened to me with this That's guy crazy. recently and his daughter. It wasn't supposed to happen, and she happened to be in the car. She's little. Same she thing. She was jealous because you was with somebody? Oh, is that the girl he was fucking in Boston? Oh, they found her. Oh, wow. Is that her? That Dracula too, bitch. You know what? Right, this bitch Again, like just to show Bram Stroker Dracula. It don't ever And destroy the motherfucking matter. career in Boston. It's you not. You this shit off over that? It usually doesn't matter. I mean, Guys like, are just. No, have you, it's, some, it's some ugly, sexy bitches in the world. That's another thing. A bitch ain't got to be attractive to be sexy. Because I seen this bitch walking the other day, and this bitch looked like the homie. But most guys, when they, most guys when they do but mess around, woke, they get caught. Her walk made you want to smash. Oh, look at how she walked, though. It's usually like so that, though, like if you think about it. That suck your dick ass. That bitch look, Damn. she looked it's like. It's usually like that. They just get with something because they want a warm place to put it. This look like the woman king. 
They, he ain't trying to spin. He wasn't trying to. We all warrior people. <laughs> he wasn't trying to mess things up, but. Who wasn't trying to mess things up? He may. You think he really wanted, if that was the case, he didn't told homegirl from the jump. Like, look, this is my get down. He wasn't well, going to tell you know, her. You don't know what he told her, D? Not the girl, Mia. I mean, Nia. But allegedly, Nia Long has a bad personality, a lot of people say. A lot of people say they don't even like working with her. So maybe he, they was having a riff for, for well, a Well, I can tell time. that thing that happened with her and Chris Rock. So. She's a very insecure woman. Yeah. Like, the way Chris Rock played her, it was like, bitch, get the fuck on. Right. That's how he played it. By the way, D, I spilled a pickle all over me, so I don't know if I Oh, smoke. is that your excuse? You smell some- I smell sour? like a pickle. You smell sour. You smell like a pickle. Mm. What she can said, I do? She dude? said you smell sour like you threw up some <laughs> infamil. Or some shit. That's all right. At least I ain't got no glasses. Uh, what I'm trying to them, say, though. I don't need glasses. I can see further than you, D. Here we go with the competition again. I'm concerned about my friend. He's got a little cloudiness in his eyes. Which, I've noticed. Which eyes cloud? Both. You got to take your sunglasses to actually Someone see. I'm not say, even Nia, that I'm, hell no. I'm not alone, that hell no. Let me tell you something. Nia alone can get it. Yeah, she's, but I can she's tell as soon girl, as you get it, sure. you getting dressed and jetting away from her. Why is she yelling? No, don't leave, please. You ever had a girl? Like when you try to leave, they almost cry to keep you there. And you wind up staying longer than you would have because you wanted her to stabilize first. Oh, and then after Niall. she stabilized, see, Nail is young. Nail is guilty of that. This around. is what you're taking away from me, D. Nail is a young man. How old are you, Nail? Nail is 27. This stuff has happened to him. It's I just see. when he hears somebody else say it, that's why he'd be like, wow, oh. that's true. Oh, he was feeling sentimental over the shit? Crazy, crazy bitches. No, he's feeling like he's in a club. Who don't want like, to face <laughs> the fact that you're not with them will cry and act a fool as you get dressed and go home. You have to stay with them longer than you would for them to stabilize. After they stabilize, they be like, okay, you can go. And why would you do that? Almost like they give you permission. Yeah, no, but why would you, you do leave, that? Are you concerned? Next, next you con- next. Why would you do what? No, dude? I'm saying when you say you give in and you stay, I mean, what, what, why did you? Are you actually, you don't have true concern. He want right, to keep fucking the bitch. Exactly. But that what if she's just super it. crazy? Well, you think she that really harmed you? You think you're, are you afraid of her? I don't sure. And I'm afraid of any bitch I'm alone with. <laughs> That's why my so, phone be on record. So it works. So her whining and her crying or whatever. Yes, it works because they say you do stuff to them. It's people in the NFL lost <laughs> their whole job because a bitch said he did something. Yeah. You ain't think about that though, did you, D? What do you mean? That's why you quiet. No, you playing like you don't know. I did, but hey. there's a way to exit yourself. <laughs> Cover your tracks. Why don't you turn record and be like, look, I There's I, no I way to go. exit nothing. When you are around a woman in this 2000, especially um, since OJ, but really post-COVID, if you're alone with a female, you are in danger of what she say you did. That's why there's record- recording devices everywhere. You have to record. I don't have to have video, but you need to have the audio part of your phone on. And if you are a person who has principles and morality, you ain't got to play it for nobody. It's just but for- it's just your backup plan exactly. in case somebody try something with you. Mm-hmm. Right, exactly. They're they going to believe the bitch. And get the cameras on the cars, too. Because my camera product. on the car, on the mirror, you barely tap oh, Nothing as half of the day. Send and it'll me record. a picture of her getting ready to sit on my head. I was like, how did you record this? <laughs> you lying. The uh, fuck? If I'm lying, I'm dying. I put uh, it on everything. A uh, nothing motherfucker sent me this. A <laughs> motherfucker act like they want. I would never show this to nobody. Well, why you didn't let me know when you did it? Damn. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm a pervert. I done did some shit that I, motherfuckers will point their finger at you and be like, you nasty. But (laughs) most people are nasty. Most people do nasty stuff. Like it's a gentleman walking down the stairs right now. I don't know him. He seems like a respectable guy. A girl ever sat on your head, man? Never. Never? Oh, oh shit. He said he oh, Who the fuck to y'all got up there, man? Wait. <laughs> wait, he said he wouldn't I'm object fucking, to it. I really no. fuck with Go Back indirectly. Okay. I know a girl that sat on your head before, right, Go Back? Oh, Ain't no girl sat on your head. Don't play that shit. What the fuck is wrong with these niggas? I don't, I don't even know that. Super Hooper oh, right oh, here. Oh, he's in you, Did club. you say you don't need that? Okay, hold on. Super Hooper. <laughs> it's a dude right here. I know him from Hooping. This motherfucker, raw. Fire ass jump shot. 
Has a woman ever sat on your head? That's right, he a real man. No, he got braids. Oh, brother. <laughs> Wait, whoa! <laughs> like Mecca. I said, no, nigga. <laughs> Uh oh. No, no, no. Mecca is serious about this shit they doing. Mecca is building a motherfucking boxing ring in the uh -huh, back. Oh, yeah. What the fuck is this, Mecca? What is the. You gonna you go say it on camera? I need to come Friday. I should. I've been. What is something happening Friday? They all doing Friday. They've been doing it. Wait a minute. What? what? Not Hold this on, Friday. Everybody. Wait. This is Mecca. Oh, come on, man. He ain't getting no camera. He ain't got to get no camera. This is Mac. Oh, Mac, walk with me, man. My leg hurt. <laughs> <laughs> no, y'all got to come back here. Y'all, motherfucker. <laughs> Don't, you can sit up there where you be sitting, Mac, or wherever you going to sit. Because we going to promote this shit. That long oh, shit, this nigga needs work. Agile, Did yeah. you see that yeah, shit? Yeah. Well, if I did that shit, I'd shit on myself and fall on my back. <laughs> I ain't he bullshit. Hold on. Let me ask the man. Mac, what's happening with the boxing thing in the back? That's just for our dudes to train. To train. Now, what's going on? Did you say something? What are y'all having? Friday a night fades. Who want the fades? Friday night fades. Ooh, who want the fades? <laughs> Wait, what's their name? Scrapyard Boxing Beefs. And they, um, so they anybody can set a beef up? Gig Harbor, Washington. Gig Harbor, yeah. so Washington up. on the other coast? Like Seattle. Oh, Seattle. Just going up north. Where they y'all going there? Y'all are they coming here? We going up there. When are y'all going? Next Friday. Next Friday. Look, ask work. viewer Thought thirty-seven said even I know about Friday. It's what actually it on say? Saturday, but we're going up there. Oh. So, so the thing they this something they doing is called what is it called again? Man? Friday night fades. Friday hmm. night fades. Wow. Look, see, this is what I'm saying. When we want see, the fade. When you we see want the fade. when you see Mecca, y'all really be thinking that he'll get in the ring and be boxing with you. Well, what day I peeped out back, I was like, these motherfuckers, look at this nigga. Back was back there. He, 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 he. I was like, then Nail went back there and they pushed his arm through his ass. We <laughs> he was like, Nail, you okay? He said, yeah, I'm fine. Like, what the it's fuck? So Who pushed his arm in his ass? Yeah. <laughs> Hell no. These niggas are serious though. We joking, but oh God. like when you wow. talking to men, Ooh. just remember this. You never know who you be talking to. These motherfuckers really be on it. The fade shit. I'm saying like a motherfucker oh. who on what you on. You really got time to be. Motherfuckers. I mean, look. Hey, so you get out next. I'm an old uh -oh. motherfucker. I got youngins. I got youngins that's hungry. Wool. You know what I mean? Only a wolf can train a wolf. You feel what I'm talking about? I love that shit, though. Out here, you know what I mean? And who wants to fade? I mean, everybody say they got uh, They got skills and they want to fight, yeah. They got backyard this and that. And can we have a tournament out here in L.A. just called Backyard Ballers? I mean, like Baron two, three-minute rounds? Baron Davis already said he wanted to do the boxing league, you know, the fade league, so we're going to run that uh -oh. already. But yeah. that's here. We already know motherfuckers can fade in L.A. County. I know what's going to happen when you come to L.A. County Jail. I don't know what happens Ooh. in them other county jails. That's ah! Who wants to fade? <laughs> that's good advertisement. He geeking them up. Ooh, no, that motherfucker. Damn. That's what's up. There it is. That's what's we'll up, Macca. Macca, he, 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 Abe, next. Abe ain't no boxer. Uh, he, I need like six months. Sir. Me too. I need three months. I need he three said he months, needs six months. That's a whole Abe half a year. Abe was there last Friday. What? What they want? That mic? Yeah, I can't reach that motherfucker. Abe, 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 That shit geeked you up? Hell yeah. But see, look, you take him up like that for granted. He get the box of this shit. Yeah. <laughs> that like, can that mic still on? Hey, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't take no man for granted. When don't we get to swinging. Martin, don't let the Ricky Martin look full, you know. Right. See, hey, see, you got that, you got that <laughs> De La Hoya, the De La Hoya look going on. It's a lot of good Mexican <laughs> fighters out here. Yeah. God damn it. I know I ain't fighting no more. Fuck that shit. Hey, La Hoya. Some motherfuckers be hitting as soon as they <laughs> hit you. You be like, there's some niggas out here, they hit you one time. You be like, I done fucked up. Oh my. <laughs> <laughs> this nigga, I'm really ready to quit now. Anyway, oh wait a minute. I want God. D Green. Wait, what? What? DJ Quick Box. Not, not DJ Quick, quick boxing. boxing. They talk about Mac. Oh, that's funny. Motherfucker said, I want to fight Marcus. 
Oh, Marcus is Marcus is gonna be a hard win because he's too wet. Marcus <laughs> gonna motherfucking skeet that water from under his you arm stop. or whatever that shit is. He's gonna be and slipping punches, eh? Right, it's gonna be over, man. But I brought that shit up to say about Nia Long and motherfucker Ime Adoka. Yeah, Listen, right. when shit go bad, don't just dog people out because you ain't with them no more. Yeah, That's that I shit. can't stand. I, I, don't, That's I, don't, a, I, don't, I can't respect yeah. it. So they not in a relationship no more? They I had thought that they were going to try and work things out because of the kid, but now it seems like that went out the window too, so... Mm. So That's he lost terrible. his job, and they not together no more. Wait, I thought he got somebody... He yeah, he got another gig. He's in H-Town, He's in H-Town now. Who? Yeah. Ime. Is he? It, You're Okie Doki. Yo, Ime, he's the coach of the Houston Rockets, right? Yeah. Oh, for real? Go, Okie Doki. Yeah, he, he deserves them. another chance. He took that team to the motherfucking championship game. Well, that's right. In Boston, then. and then lost his job over some dick yeah, in the pussy like he shit. Was a yeah, bad that's coach. righteous, then. That's good. Right. That ain't fair. Yeah. It don't matter who you fuck, goddammit. As long as they ain't underage, you should not be able to lose your job because bitches and people want to fuck you. That ain't fair, goddammit. Do you know how many jobs I would lose if I worked in the regular <laughs> world? How many girls want to give me some pussy, boy? <laughs> and I got it good, too, because nobody think they girl want to give me some pussy. Then after I fuck them, they be looking at me, Corey, what's up, boy? I be like, yeah, what's up, dick? Yeah, it's all to the good. They, no, I don't have still think you be joking speakers. when you be saying you be fucking all they bitches. Man, they look, man. that's a joke, actually. Hey, wow. man, look, let me tell you something, man. What's up, baby? Hey, let me tell you something, man. Everybody who take motherfuckers for granted, listen to me. When you make people laugh, especially women, they want to give you some pussy. Because they be <laughs> impressed that you can make their evil ass laugh. They be like, oh. nothing should make me laugh. Oh. I hate the world. <laughs> and when you make them laugh, they be like, oh, shit. Damn, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah, what's going on over hey, here? Hey, Corey, do you think the majority of women cheat? Say that again? Do you think the majority of women cheat? I think that men sleep with other women a lot more than women sleep with men. Mm -hmm. But this is what I think that's worse about women. We can sleep with someone and still love our woman. But when your girl start fucking around, she leave you. Yeah. It's like they become something else when they start fucking around. We can fuck around with whoever, because I tell a bitch, look, Whatever the fuck we doing is what the fuck we doing. But this my woman over here. All right, motherfucker? You got that right? You understand that? All right. You can tell a girl that. Once your girl start fucking, Say the bitch break camp, that don't. motherfucker can be getting your money and everything. All because he fucking your bro. Oh, for sure, that. <laughs> hey, shit. Hey, hey, but I'm going to tell you something. Every every man at least got twenty stories about a funky ass bitch. Dude. Right, that's funny. He said at that. least Didn't we not every man say that at least got week? two. So this so this is my point up. to that. So that means if you multiply that by a million, it's a million men that can tell you about twenty million funky bitches. Well, there's way more men though, so too. I, so yeah. No, I think it's more women. So I think women, man, is worse than men. That's just my. When it comes opinion. to cheating, oh, you're right. there's way more yeah, women, but so. they have that, because they, I think a woman that go and fuck somebody, and, and if it ain't all the time, she don't even consider that cheating. Look how easy you go in the street and you can just meet a bitch and fuck her. They got somebody. And everybody looks at certain at different things as cheating. Do you see what I'm saying? Like some people yeah. can equate like, oh, if somebody's like communicating personally with someone. Well, cheating is cheating. cheating. Whatever you call it, whatever right, you want to call cheating. You given up some you given up um, you know, personal time with somebody else. If and then, person, and the other if, person doesn't know it. That's yeah. cheating. If a person goes by the Bible, if you a woman and you look at a man in a way of lust, that's in cheating. a lustful way, yeah. mm. that's cheating. Yeah. According to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's now, real talk though. If you're with somebody is what you're saying. Like if you're in a relationship, committed relationship. Yeah, no, 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 I'm saying even like. A woman period, even if she's single? No, I'm saying like, well, if you, you are who you are, if you're looking at a man <laughs> in a lustful way. I say there's nothing wrong with just looking. They don't know right. what's going on inside. I'm not all. Uh, uh. You say there's nothing wrong, <laughs> but do you, let me, let me tell no, you No, no, something. I'm saying I'm not reacting where somebody could go, oh, wow, look how she's acting, looking at that dude or checking him out. But listen They to wouldn't this, know you? my mind inside is going, you know. How many men have you slept with off a lustful urge? I, that's nobody's business inquiry minds want to know <laughs> she said that's nobody's business that means yeah. that's at least 20. 
in Corey's mind, it's whatever he'd like. Because I'm such a friend, I'll let him have it. I don't care. If it was one, she'd be like, well, I did that one time. A couple of times. I did that a couple of I'm times. I'm 56 years old, Corey, and I've been single for quite some time. How long so, you been single, D? Pretty damn long. Mm, Over five years. See. Oh yeah, like I wouldn't count. I wouldn't count that last relationship. So single, she, she count. She don't even count people that had sex with her. I was just wait, gonna wait, ask that. So what about no, 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 the, not period. Sex? I don't count them. Not period. You said lust, didn't you say the like? No, no, I said a, a relationship. Lusting? Oh, when the last time you been in a relationship? Uh, during COVID, long? I had a two year, a two year long relationship. Okay. Mhm. So yeah. now you're totally single. Yeah. So do you have a friend with benefits? Yeah. Okay. Look, everybody so out here totally fucking. Single, That's anybody, single. That's single because he knows too that it's. Anybody who ain't fucking out of here is wasting their time on earth. I hope God take you. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> what the fuck is you out here without what? fucking? <laughs> fucking? Fucking and washing up is the thing that make this life worth living. If you can't fucking wow, wash up no more. that ain't everything. Oh my God. What is better than fucking and washing up? Oh my God! No. Exactly. That's my. Instead of giving me mine and saying that's a hell of a point, Corey. It, it is though. But she'll say, "Oh my God, I what's think it's better than point. fucking? What's better than fucking? I can't think of nothing on this planet better than fucking someone you love. What do you mean, someone you love? Doing it with somebody you love. You saying fucking somebody you love is better than just fucking? I disagree with that. I, well, then again, maybe you don't know because you've probably never had the same kind of love that I equate love. Let me tell you so something. So what, what kind of love you equate to that? What, she just, it's she, deep. She, no, she, she don't wanna, put her foot in her mouth. No, it, no that's why I wanted to ask her because I want the foot to go in the mouth. <laughs> that <laughs> doesn't so, sound that's right. That's some bullshit. No. Why? It's bullshit. not bullshit. It's, it's you. You're doing you and I'm doing me. That's it. When you fuck we who would never, you love, it is expected fucking. Ow. When you fuck strangers, it is the greatest. <laughs> it's like being in line at that roller coaster. Again, I think that's a male thing, too. Yeah, I think that's a male thing. And then getting Majority. on the roller coaster and being in front. That's what happens when you fuck a stranger. When you fuck the person you love, that's not nothing more exciting than fucking strangers. That's why, they, that's why the uh, haters created uh, these diseases. So your bliss is, uh -huh. is taxed. Uh-huh. Fucking is all to everything of all. motherfuckers is in jail so they could fuck bad bitches. So they needed to get money. They got tired of fucking the bitches that look like they supposed to give you some pussy. Motherfuckers did strange shit and took chances on all kind of illegal things so they could fuck bad bitches. This is all facts. It is a whole generation of men in jail trying to get that paper on a certain level so they can fuck bitches that are very attractive that they know they'll never be able to keep and sustain. You know, uh, Everybody who tries to keep and can sustain one, it uh, ends up just like Scarface. You know, Did you see the movie Scarface? Yeah, that's some cold well, Scarface shit. got that paper, he bumped the boss bitch. This is what happened when you get money. When you got money, you bump the bitches that's motherfucking elite looking. They ain't about shit mm. inside. They harden everything. It's corroded. That's some cold shit you just said, though. It's a generation of motherfuckers in prison over trying to get bitches. Trying That's to get bitches. It wasn't even just bitches. about the That's money. Sad. They was trying to get paid to get the baddest bitches they could find. Man, it's something, in prison about, right now. it's something about fucking a bad bitch that motherfucking is satisfying to a man, especially a man it's who a motherfucking... <laughs> Don't that normally get bad bitches. That is very sad. <laughs> God damn. That's a man who don't normally sad. get bad bitches, boy, when he start fucking bad bitches, and he normally start fucking bad bitches when he got that paper. Yeah, that when paper. you start fucking them bad bitches, that shit is a rush. Yeah, they basically are losing their minds. I agree. You guys are basically at that point losing their I don't think you're losing mind. your mind fucking bad bitches. You're losing no, 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 your no, mind you're losing when you try to, to cuff a bad bitch. Well, that too, and... That well, it, you losing your mind when you trying to cuff a bitch, period, though. And some of those guys tend to forget. Because uh, nowadays, if you trying to cuff a woman, women have had too many dicks anyway, man. They ain't been with too many men. You better, your best bet, man, is to enjoy the person while you got them. <laughs> and don't put too much into a bitch, man, because you're going to be disappointed. Like Most, you. the majority of the relationships are what we call relationships don't work. They don't work. Let me ask you a question about a woman who done had 30 dicks up in her. 
Can you be with her and sustain a relationship with her? Hell no. Nah. Fuck If she nah. didn't have 30 dicks, she basically broke to the game, ain't Look, she? Look, man, when a bitch can tell you what kind of dick she like, what kind of dick she don't like, and what kind of dick she'll tolerate, the bitch didn't have way too many dicks. You can't do nothing with no bitch like that. But fuck her. Yeah, that's it. There you go. Get what you want out A of woman that. wasn't even created to be doing nothing like that. So they out of their element. What do you mean when you say a woman isn't that's not created very late, like, to right. be sleeping with a whole bunch of men? Well, Just well, explain they, it to they, them. The, they the mothers of, of civilization. When God created women, they, he created a woman to be the mate to a man to help mate. Women, due to circumstances, they've been in the street mostly all their life now because they don't have fathers. So now they fucking just like how men are conquering women. The women are doing the exact same thing. You can't do nothing with no woman like that. Mm. The Bible say they got a reprobated mind. A reprobated, a reprobated mind. 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 And for people that, do they get that mean they get money back from the store if they send in the coupon? <laughs> like a rebate, Corey, right. stop. I don't know what it means. Give reprobated. I'm that. just gonna keep it hundred. That shit you be talking, man. That's why people like mm. to show so much because it's the truth, man. You can't put your hopes in no bitch. You you are in trouble, man. And and you look at motherfucking NBA stars. You look at all the entertainers. They still marrying bitches. Yeah, you that said something on this show, that. man. That's some real shit that should be on an award like a billboard. You cannot marry no bitch nowadays. That's a bad contract. Nowadays. Of course, that's the worst thing you could do right now is is get married to somebody that they've been fucked by a whole lot of different people. I personally know um, a lot of women. Where I, it, it don't matter what you do for them, it will never be enough. And it goes back to that shit you said. This woman done had about 30 plus dicks up in her. That's How it. in the fuck can her mind ever relax and be with one man? Never. She done metamorphosed into something else. And, and what I don't like, the, the sluts is taking all the work from the real prostitutes. You know how many sluts it is that you meet? Oh, yeah, because they're not getting, yeah. They just no, these bitches the, just, yeah. man, you, you meet a woman now, you can't even have a regular conversation with her and, and, and bond on nothing. These bitches, man, is terrible. I feel sorry for the average guy, man, that's still in the business of trying to look for a relationship with some love. Look for a wife. You crazy. Mm. You are lame. Well, I, I saw a movie, and it's called this Westernized Living. If you live here in America, oh, a lot of people don't understand you're in a place where principles have been thrown out of the window. And I don't think it's all just the, this place. The I think it's the times we're in, period, all over, all around the world. I, don't th I think America is, is the worse. worse is worse, When it yes. comes to morality being right. solid. Right. True, but I not agree. the only. I think it's just But it's one of the, it's the lead. Too. It's the lead off, though. Well, the leadership here uh -huh. makes it where you're not solid. Listen, man, we all know that they put cases on Donald Trump so he can't be the president. Now, he should have been had cases on him. You got over 20 women saying he took pussy. A long time ago, they should have. And them been. cases were not nothing. Mm. But because they don't want him to be the president no more, they threw a case on him. But look, they knew if that. If you think about that, they, they let you know the leadership out here is a wicked motherfucker. But the people who voted for him knew that he was, he said he'd be grabbing the pussy. And they still voted for because him. Because the majority were women. That. The majority they don't were want women. him to be the president again. That's what I'm they saying. They don't care about his morality. They don't care about none of his behavior. They just don't like his politics. Because he shouldn't have never been president if we going mm -hmm. off a record of shit he do with bitches. Yeah, man. I never <laughs> grab pussy that ain't want me to grab it. <laughs> By the time I grab the pussy, that motherfucker is open in the bed. Oh this guy can't. I, I can see the tags on your asshole. I don't know where they come from. Girls with skin tags on their asshole. <laughs> it happens. I'm just glad their asshole was clean. You be like, damn, your tags are clean. Oh, this, this is what you deal with every week. D. TMI, yes, yeah. <laughs> what? What the fuck, man? Let me tell you something, man. What? The world revolves around money and pussy. Yes. It's a motherfucker did 60 hours of work last week at a job that wasn't paying him enough to get back to that motherfucker. The reason he did that is because he wants to maintain... The pussy that tolerates him. Damn. 
All, let's, let's just go down a middle class or lower city block. Everybody who living in these houses, especially Los Angeles, California, we could pick a block. Everybody living in them houses is either a woman that inherited the house from her mama or somebody, or a hard-working motherfucker where when he died, the house will be out of their name within a year. Because can't. can't nobody else keep the motherfucker up. Oh Damn. My God. He got all loser bitches around him. His wife a loser, oh. her kids are losers, and the grandbabies crawling around the floor that ain't clean because of the losers ahead of them. This is the houses in L.A. Mm. You want to go through these houses? Let's knock on doors through L.A. I bet you this <laughs> oh scenario I just brought up is going to be all the houses. Mm. And, and people ain't going to like that, but that's the truth, though. Mm. Every time the matriarch die the whole in these houses, die, yep. they lose that house within a year to a year and a half Yeah, because mm. they can't keep it up no more. Because the first thing a stupid motherfucker gonna do is refinance it. And or buy they have shitty ass, or they have shitty ass kids. And the moment that the papa died, they're not afraid to take advantage of the mama. Yeah. Which I know so Somebody many. Somebody say scenarios. six months. <laughs> I know so many of those scenarios. You know what That's I'm saying? True, Where though. the dad dies, and now but, they're like, okay, good, I'm gonna take advantage of mama. The dad, the dad can keep the, the shit up because he put in enough work while he was living, where mm. he can keep up the house. Yeah. Now, there are houses where women are the head of the household, but where does she get the money to keep up that house? They robbed the motherfucker through pussy jacking. They Damn. fucked somebody into them being able to afford a house. Damn. Them houses, is, now, there's some educated women out here who got a housing. They ain't in South Central LA. They move. But all them houses, let's pick a block in LA and go through them houses that's on that one block is this scenario I'm dropping right here. Yep. Including the baby on the nasty flow. I can't you. The motherfucking crazy. bathroom flow so nasty if you stomp, you go through that motherfucker. That's real shit. I went over a bitch house one time, man. I went to her bathroom. The motherfucking toilet was raised off the ground. What I do don't know mean? what the, the shit was lopsided. Oh, like yeah. The motherfucker was standing on the motherfucking shit. Nasty bitch. Somebody say like Big Mama from Soul Food. Anyway, I'm just saying, man, this is what's in America. Oh, that's what that story was basically about. Somebody actually, said right? pussy jacket. <laughs> pussy jack. Put dog. These girls are set up because they married a fool. Yeah. And his money, his education pays for the house they live in where dick run in and out the motherfucker. Yeah. So many cars been seen pulling off in front of the bitch house. The neighbors roll their eyes when the bitch walk out the door. <laughs> How many niggas come up in there, bitch? You, you know what I noticed too, the man. The kids be like, 15. A, a man that meet a woman and oh, he don't God. even do no investigation on the bitch. He don't look at her family, her mama. That's it's other some... countries. Mm. You know about other countries where you have to justify the marriage. Like, yeah. why is this a good marriage? They have shit like that. And they gotta know you, and they gonna go through the village and inquire about you, and families gonna know each other here. Yeah. You just marry any motherfucker. Or they have arranged marriages for the better of the, and, you know, the couple. But you know they say a lot of those marriages actually work. Work, yeah. Because they put them together with the puzzles that need to be put together to right, survive. Right, right. Hey man, I don't yeah, know, you say you watch this show, that bags up what I said. I said most of the ladies, if you let them out there and they have to do it on their own, they're going to run into a brick wall at 100 miles an hour. That's real shit. They need to be arranged. The man that they are after can do better than them. I a lot tell of times all people can't see, you know what I'm saying, especially a young lady. A lot of times These they just girls can't. out here think that you're going to pick a man and that man going to only be with you and do whatever you need him to do for the rest of their life. That is the biggest part of the destruction of this country that the women actually think that they are so badass they're going to get a man to live their will <laughs> it doesn't happen most of the time a man is smiling with you and behind your back he living the truth of who he is yeah Pimp daddy, these people are all me <laughs> i'm living the truth in your face because i don't <laughs> expect you to stay with me I know you damaged, I know I'm damaged, and you gonna blame my damages for why everything went wrong instead of realizing your damages has kept you 
in the gutter getting rotted out by strangers as the years pass. Church. Real shit. But they don't even recognize they damage. They don't even think they damage. They just know your damage, right? Yeah, bitch be telling you about oh, yourself. Lord. Like, bitch, you done had four abortions and three kids. With but me? Th- you had four abortions <laughs> with me? Oh, Jesus Christ. And I know I ain't the only dick been up in you. Three kids by three different niggas and nothing wrong with you. Mm-hmm. And your mama had four kids by four. You can't even go to Planned Parenthood because they got a limitations on abortions. You got to go to this clinic that looked like a weed spot. <laughs> oh, no. You said they got a limitation on how many abortions? I ain't never heard no shit like that. You, you can't go to Planned Parenthood on your ninth abortion. They'll be like, no, enough is enough. They got, they got the photo up there. They got the fingerprints. <laughs> right. <laughs> you said they got a photo. Hey, you like the post office. Oh, habitual like, abortion. Yeah. Oh, my. Habitual abortion. Habitual abortion. Right. Damn. No, nah, you got to go to them clinics, God damn it, where... Uh, <laughs> so it look like a wheeze. Ain't no parking. <laughs> <laughs> you, you got to go to them clinics where them motherfuckers, you got to knock on the door. <laughs> what? Yeah. Um, they told me... We know, bitch. Come to the back. Damn. Take your shoes off. That's Put this gown is. on. There's one that's right next to where I like to go eat a lot. At the, that CJ's Maybe cafe. They'd be like, "Play is a vacuum. Which you, one you want?" You walk up. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, not the one on Pico, but the one on La Brea. Yeah. Yep. And what they got it? a Planned Parenthood right there. Like you have to walk through. You're like, Ugh. and then you you have to walk past the people that are waiting outside because it's like hot. So they're sitting. They're standing outside. They're I just went all, the other day. They're looking all funny face. Every day I go by, I'm like, oh yeah. And there's she's standing out. They're standing outside that door. I'm like, Ugh. if you got on a skirt, they'd be like, you don't need this robe. Just just <laughs> God dang it. <laughs> you save us, we save us dry cleaning money. That's <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> they don't dry clean the robes. They wash them with all the detergent. The dollar store shit. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let it hang dry outside. Still be a little damp when they put it on. They be like, don't worry about it. It'll be all right. I, I, hey, Corey, I want to ask you something, man. I wonder how these bitches be feeling, though, about having abortions. They act like it ain't shit, though. Like, like they didn't do something foul. Like, right? that's the one of the worst things you could. No disrespect if anybody on this panel that had an abortion. Well, it's been. No, I'm just, I've said I'm it. just I've saying that. Yeah. But no, I get it. That's one I, of the. I despise that too. That's I one of I the worst things you could do that they get away with. Well, as that's you get older, I don't like. As you get older, you get wiser. Right. Use it for so protection. a woman in her twenties, even her thirties, getting an abortion. I be like, it's expected. You grew up in this Western society. But when you see these girls in their late thirties, forties at the abortion clinic with the young hoes, goddammit, selling <laughs> Avon in the lobby, you be like, what the fuck is this bitch here? You better keep that last little protector that's gonna no, come no. out that blue out monkey. That little that last devil egg. Right. Oh my god. Somebody say deletion. <laughs> Somebody say clinics be giving flyer miles. <laughs> frequent, f- frequent flyer miles. God damn. I ain't mad at you though. All the girls who aborted my kids, I'm not mad at you, but you destroyed kings. I told you don't do it after you did it. <laughs> don't don't do it after you did after it. After you did it. Oh my God. Wow. Have you ever begged a girl not to do it though? Like really begged her, please don't kill my kid. I handle it. I take care of it. Have you ever did that? Never. I never did it either. Oh, well, we know that. I know they wouldn't listen to me. Every girl who wanted to have an abortion with me, I saw how anxious they was when they got in the car that morning. They really didn't want the baby. I was like, I must not be shit. I know. I was going to say, how does that make you feel? You know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, it doesn't make me feel like I'm the enemy, goddammit. I put this dick in you. But some of them you didn't want no baby with anyway, right? I can admit that, but I will tell you this. I had no control (laughs) over whether they kept it or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't got no... Look, look, the woman got all the control. That's what I'm saying. The only thing... Great. Well, you ain't really even got no say so over nothing. She can abort it. She can keep it. She can adopt it She can put it, it up for adoption. Yeah. You can't even stop a bitch from having the wrong nigga around your kids. Well, this you was still late, had to pay child Well, this was for. the late 60s, but my mom gave me up. She never saw me when I was born, so my dad had to go uh, get me from the wow. agency. Yeah, so as soon as you was born, your mom was like, 
I don't want her. Not even as soon as I was born, even before that. So she wouldn't have known had her cousin not have called this my family. This explains a lot. I've already told you that. What are you <laughs> Stop. Well, my dad was amazing. Either? My dad was the complete opposite of you, so. Just Your dad when he got you? Yes. Is that yes. what he told you? Corey, it's well known <laughs> in our family. Come on now. How old was he when he got you? What do you mean, how old was he? How old were you when he got you? I was newborn. I had just been born. They w actually went to the hospital. She had already had me, but gave me up. And he had to come back the next day with my grandma, his mom, and his entire family has been, basically, they, they were the ones that raised me. They got back together when I was three and a half. Got, the, your got mother married. and father? Yeah, got married and then took me away from where I should have stayed all along with my grandmother, but... WSTF. So did you ever ask Thanks. your dad why he got back Oh, yeah, we know all that. Yeah, I wrote a book. I wrote a book about it. It was pretty heavy. Truth yeah. is truth. Thanks. But my dad was amazing dad. What Steve Mayfield say? Amazing. He since passed. So. Corey is hard on him tonight. Hey, D. Steve Mayfield. Hey, Steve. Is that the dude out here? Is he out here? Mm -hmm. One of them dudes said he was from out here and mm -hmm. he was going to meet you outside, D. Shut up. I did get a little... What? Treat again today. Thank you. I didn't read the card, so whoever sent me that. Tell the truth, D. You've been followed home, and when you got out the I'm car. I'm not. I <laughs> wish I would. Come I would. on. Oh, I don't allow. No, you like can't. I wish the player would try to follow me. No. Uh-uh. No. But no, I got, I just got a little treat. Abe showed me. It's over there. A nice from, little. From a, from who? From someone. It just a said. secret admirer? Yeah. It's Hey y'all, it's a security guard out around this motherfucker. Y'all <laughs> leave me alone. <laughs> what, what do he get you? What, what the secret of Mara gets you? Oh well, the last time he, I don't Somebody know. Somebody said Dia losing Isaiah. Oh brother. <laughs> anyway, they um That's um I had a beautiful uh, flower arrangement a couple of weeks or months ago, and then that right there is like a fruit edible. I saw that flower arrangement on the side of the freeway, D. Shut your ass. I did not. I gave. That <laughs> nigga said on the side. God I throw away damn. shit. I don't know why bitches give me shit. I don't do nothing but throw it out the window while I'm driving. They give me shit. What, I'm going to take it home? What is this? They give you I shit like what, some... though? This girl, the latest one was some cup holders with H on it. I guess that was for my last name. Uh, a couple of canned bottle openers. And all dollar stuff. Shoe that, cleaner. Oh, right. All 99 cent stuff shit. Dog. Yeah. Wait, it ain't. And I, I go at least 50 <laughs> miles per hour when I throw it out the window. Because I love the sound. <laughs> How I skip all through the freeway. <laughs> Bless his heart. He thought that H was for his last name. It stood for his nickname. What is what is, what is? Heavy. Heavy. Here you go, Heavy. He had a joke. Yeah. Oh, so D, D, since you was raised with your father, what qualities do you think you got from your dad? Well, no, but then my mom ended up t getting me after they got married. They were only married for like, well, they stayed married the entire time, even when they parted w with one e uh, each other. But um, he raised me till about three and a half, and then they had a wedding that I had to go do that I was actually the flower girl. Blah, blah, blah. Um. She was evil, though. It's a big story. Your mom yeah. was oh, evil. so you up. don't? You had a terrible relationship with your mom. Horrible, horrible. Wow. But I had an excellent dad and his entire family. We're talking sisters, his mother, my grandmother. Um, so that was all good. My mom and her entire family are all the same. Horrible, horrible people. Anyway, mm -hmm. back to the shit. Stop giving me <laughs> shit. I throw it out the window. I want every man in here, the next gift you get, to throw it out the window at 50 plus miles per hour. That sound is a delight. That could be stuff that somebody might want, Corey. Why don't you just start like a like like a little, you know, gather it together. People who get it off the can... freeway want it. They really want it. They <laughs> risk their lives. But it's, hey, hey, they put that shit in their basket. They no, the not after it, he threw it out at that speed. It's it's ruined. So I'm just saying. It's just not ruined, Hold D. on to some goods and let, let me look at it. I told you it was can openers. You think they hey, get ruined? Hey, Corey, did the they at least put it in a nice box? I didn't this? have shit gift wrapped. I told them, every girl, I'd be like, I'm cool. They'd be like, I bought it for you. I'd be like, okay. And then he complains. Like, look, even for Christmas, even for Christmas here, like, you know, us on the show and coworkers, uh, oh, well, look, so-and-so got a gift. I'm like, I used to give him gifts all the time here. We'd show up Christmas, his birthday, whatever. And this fool never 
use, you never see them again. Like, uh. it's like, wait, what did you do? Wow. So then I stopped. Rawr, rawr. See, <laughs> I learned my lesson. I learned my lesson and I don't give them the day. I don't give them, oh, dude, I didn't give me. Wow. So see, hey. everything gets scrutinized after that fact now. Hey, so. Corey, if you don't got a strong will, man, them 5150 motherfuckers, how you want to commit suicide. Right. Cause they get <laughs> yeah. right, they... God damn. No. Man, fuck y'all, mother. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking about, oh, I'm trying, right. I don't and sound like, like Craig nigga. I'm let's 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 <laughs> Anyway we're going to get to the part of the show That slows things down Significantly uh, Oh I got a couple of cash up Thank you They got some Paris. cash up Spud oh, they got your Paris. cash up Uh uh-uh. uh What's your uh, cash up Spud My shit is um real game one on one Real game 101. Mm. Okay, it was Spud's birthday on Sunday, man. Oh, belated. So, Happy show birthday. Some blessings, man. Look at Real out game Spud. 101. Spud cool to the motherfucker. You got them glasses on. He cross eyed and shit, but. <laughs> hey, that motherfucker lying, nigga. I ain't cross eyed. <laughs> I just want you to take the glasses off. <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! <laughs> Le- these loose, loose talk, talk about, about bullshit. Uh, thank you, but I have a little bit of a problem here. What happened, D? You ain't got nothing this week, huh? I do, but it didn't transfer. Oh, I almost want to go get my laptop. Ah, didn't have the child on. Let me see. It didn't, tra- it didn't transfer. <laughs> I am so shocked. <laughs> oh, my God. D ain't got shit this week. I, oh, I do. I just didn't label it. There it is. Ah, ha, ha. Oh, you found uh, it? Uh, did you did you send what's the name pictures like you normally do? Yeah. Oh, okay. Anyway, okay, so here we go again. I didn't. Way to put on blast. Wow. The lying ass, D. Wow. Well, I have them, so I will send them. Then again, we were all <laughs> rawr, rawr. We were all late, and it was <laughs> I. In all honesty, it was my latest day ever, ever in almost fourteen years. All because of a bad accident on the not mine, but somebody else. So anyway. So here we go. Um, weren't we just speaking about poor Steve Harvey? Oh. What happened now? Like Uh-oh. last week, we were already speaking about the, 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 the possible, the possible um, news about he and his wife, Marjorie, possibly. What's the news? Allegedly. Having, allegedly, possibly having some kind of, you know, bad information on um, their marriage, because apparently let him tell it that they're not. So now here we go. Now he's in the news with that. But then here goes something else. And this is just, wow, this is so trippy. Okay, so you know who Shirley Strawberry is, right? The woman yeah. who's been on his show for a long time. He did her bad, boy. Um, wow. Well, anyway, she's still on his show, but I don't know if you've heard of this story, but somebody released. Um, Rashid Wallace. What happened? No, go ahead. Do oh. my bad. Anyway, somebody <laughs> released um, recordings of her speaking to her husband because they're not divorced yet um and who's been in jail right Right, so her husband has been arrested and has been in jail since uh july 2022 so somebody now has leaked those messages and in the mess it's literally conversations between the two he and her and she brings up steve harvey and his wife so she talks about them and yeah and says uh (laughs) And says that the, I guess the guy asked her something about like you know like oh did she how was she you know Marjorie whatever and she said you know she treated us like with a help, and then she said then she said that Steve Harvey something to the degree of that Steve Harvey is afraid of her his wife. But you know what, um, D she spoke some real shit. Now. I was just gonna say now hold on, I'm not done yet now I'm not mm-hmm. even hating on that I mean I'm just it again these were conversations between two people that were supposed to have been you know right. private so. A lot, of, a lot of times people just have conversation, but if it wasn't done in super malice, whatever, they're just having an exchange. Right. It was exposed to the public. So they put her on blast. Um, so she gave a public apology to Steve on their show. And then Steve also kind of gave his own little take on everything. And that's kind of long and drawn out. But the bigger scandal to me is this, this guy. <laughs> And her. Hey, you have to make the point. You, what happened? I just said it, that she was caught, that they exposed the conversations between her and her husband. and they ex- About what? About her talking about Steve Harvey and his wife. Now, that's his coworker. That's like if somebody had. Everybody talk about everybody that's around them. Right, what but they the don't know what say? they're saying. I just said that she said Steve's afraid of her. 
that Mar of Marjorie, his wife, you know, that she runs things and that she basically, they don't see him that as often go over their house to visit, probably because of her, and that she treats them like she, like they were the help. In she other words, basically she's, said Steve was simping, simping was scared of his wife. Of right. And that um, his wife got a bad attitude. She treats them like the help. Like the help. That's what he said. Well, she if said. you work, if somebody works for you, and you don't treat them like the help, they act like they're ahead of you. So what's new? And, but here's the bigger thing about this whole entire thing, what I found out is that, wait a second, I was like, wow. We don't what? even know who is who. That's okay. Steve Harvey, that's his wife. Who is the lady that's right Shirley there? That's Shirley Strawberry. Strawberry. Shirley Strawberry. Now, okay. uh, her husband in jail for what? Uh, oh, fucking man. animals and animals all and kind some, of shit. Some, some alleged things with children where he can't be around children and blah, blah, blah. But, but this particular... And, and this bitch got a problem with somebody treating them like they the motherfucking hell. Well, a bitch who would a nigga who fuck things. And, and it's <laughs> the getting... The fuck is this? Wait, and it's getting even worse because more messages were revealed and she actually had had some problems between her and her family when she was dealing with this guy that her and her daughter fell out well now it's going to get even worse because in one of the messages she's actually talking about her daughter to him and it's bad like i'm like ah anyway it's just very messy um d is basically saying this bitch shirley strawberry is a messy bitch who married a motherfucker who fucked things and all this that's the, what else you got d in the same story they've re released more conversations of his with his mistress so now she was already putting up for him like telling everybody oh he's not he's not as bad as it's not he he might be arrested but he's not guilty we get a picture of her husband? not being proven guilty and all that so in other words she was standing up for the guy everything. And, and she you, was standing up for the guy and everybody else apparently in her family had already did not care for the guy and he was already known since the 80s allegedly as a husband. doing a lot of scandalous con right stuff but, but that's if, a backdoria nigga wait, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he ain't even got talking I can tell you hey, hey, no, wait no. they even released the messages have you heard those yeah, the ones between his mistress so he and his mistress yeah. and let me tell you what's interesting is at my point again guys when they are talking to different people their voices change like his whole demeanor but again he's playing her for sure his whole demeanor is totally different with the with the so-called side girl but Corey, he's talking like a whole different dude, like a street dude, whatever. But with Shirley, he's putting on this whole. It's so embarrassing. But let me tell you, that motherfucker is talking so ignorant. It's so Something crazy. Something got to be wrong with Shirley to even fuck with. Yeah, a nigga like that's like what that. I'm saying. The bigger picture well, is so sad that she's confidence. A, they Mitch match. I was just gonna that say that motherfucker that. going to the Beyonce concert so with tickets he bought. <laughs> it's so sad. Yeah, they confiscated her car. They've taken all, oh, they've done all kind of stuff, all because allegedly He his put case. all the scam shit in this in bitch's name. name. He looked like name. a fruit booty Marvin Sapp. Yeah, that's the what fuck? he is. Yeah. So oh, it's, it's just, it's just getting, fruit booty Marvin it's just getting worse for them. So my Lord, I can't. I, I, look at her. Look at her. I know. Well, I mean, I, I don't know about, like I said, look, but just, just you to can he, see the lack of confidence in if her. If you hear those, but those conversations, 70, it is, you know, is she what? really? She's about 70. She's 68 to 70. And he's, yeah, but you can't be that insecure. He's 11 years younger than her, too. So. And it don't matter. He done took it raw backside of the game. <laughs> so sad that she's He's just, a backdoorian for sure. Right. Huh? I mean, I and hope to goodness she's elderly, not accepting it now. She wants somebody to show off at the barbecue and family events. That's I hope, what she wants. I hope she's dropped that I don't feel that sympathy way. for her. I, I, I have some, I feel I have some compassion as oh, a human being. Oh, you say you don't feel sympathy. Yeah, I, I thought no you said you don't feel 70. I'm like, you oh, ain't 70. What? <laughs> Shut up. No, I'm just saying I, I do have. I don't feel sympathy for her because I know the company she keep. Oh, Him, well. Yeah. And I'm... look at the other people she be around. Oh. These people are nothing but drama drawers. And let me tell you what else. And then Steve Harvey humiliated her on the show, making her apology. Did you hear her apology, D? I uh, didn't hear it all the way through. That I just heard her say what she said. Even, what did she say? Well, she said, um, she said she was sorry for talking about Marjorie. She was sorry for saying, um, she said Steve Harvey was walking up his stairs and the motherfucker could barely oh, breathe walking up oh, the stairs. Oh, my she God. She was saying all kind of shit, but not really in a... It was a personal conversation between her and her husband. Right, they got some fuck, they... and some fuck shit. A fuck person released it, which they shouldn't even have released a jail. It was a jail conversation. But to you know, recording. there's a whole website where that had that, where you can listen to all of you know that. 
And she said, Margie, um, and then she was kind of hating on her a little bit. She said when she got, um, you know, they bought Tyler Perry house. She said Steve got her set up where she get massages and she had people come in and out of the house and do everything for her. And she said we wouldn't even be able to be in the house looking around if she, she had there. been there. Oh, that I caught. Yeah. It, it just, mm. She said, he, she said, you know, Steve scared of the bitch. So. <laughs> That's what that's what she said, and she did. Oh, she told her yep, it's he just, scared her. I'm not taking up for Steve Harvey or nothing, but I am telling you, if you got a bitch like that at your house, keep the bitch in the living room on the couch, because mm. everything else she sees, she gonna talk about. Really, why the bitch at your house? Look, if the bitch work for you and she at your house, she ain't gonna do nothing but rummage through shit so she can tell the streets. And that's what mm. she did, basically. Mm, 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 mm. Why do you just... think anything different? I brought a nigga to my house who used to be on the show, that nigga Precise. That nigga said, I'm a bum. I was laughing. I don't know him, though, but every show, man, that motherfucker was hollering. And D, he, oh, my God. Yeah. you, you he, was, he was high, man. I'm surprised you didn't pull his pistol on that motherfucker. No, was high, that's, his, that's his homie. Like, that was but his I'm homie. using it as a point to show. Dog, whenever you invite somebody to your house for whatever the reason is, I don't care if you live in a mansion, they going to find something to talk about. You are vulnerable once you bring them into your You're space. A, your yeah. domain, yeah. that's right. I do comedy shows. I do shows where I'm preaching, giving the word. Anybody around me, I expect them to go and tell the streets what they saw. That's why I'm very picky about who I have around me. Because motherfuckers naturally have envy for anybody who in that spot. And I'm yeah. talking about that spot, mm. whatever that spot may That's be. Yeah, true. whatever may be, right. And, and they that don't understand, man, that a jealous, things. envious motherfucker is a weak motherfucker, too. Mm, you mm, just a mm, weak mm, ass mm. motherfucker. Mm -hmm. Hey. You being mad, you getting mad at the gifts God gives somebody, and you ain't even trying nothing yourself. This bitch got a you told Harpo to beat me face. <laughs> Oh, look at no. that look right there when she under that nigga. She, <laughs> she look like I a mannequin. I don't fuck with no bitch like that, though. If you had that bitch around you, that bitch gonna talk about you. But the irony in the twist of it is that- We all heard her talking about Steve on the shit, right? I'm yeah. playing it yeah. off like I ain't hear that shit. I heard that bitch, Oof. that bitch ain't shit. And she married a motherfucker that put dookie dick in her. <laughs> and Her pussy still dripping shit. And I hate to say it, but I was entertained to hear those uh, messages elderly between Dookie him and Puss. Homegirl. It is so different. He's two different people. And, he's uh, yeah, and that's just talk, with them two. We was talking, we to, was the talking to the mistress. Oh, my God. He telling her to exercise he, her thing. He down told there. the he mistress, he said, since I'm in prison, whenever your pussy get hot, just tap on it. Oh, my God. And he, he thanked her for getting breasts. Some important. other nigga yep, tapping on it. He was like, let it. me see them. Oh, my. He was just. Yeah, he was oh. While you in jail, niggas pogo sticking in that motherfucker. A high diving in that pussy. Niggas just like, but but Darlene, he sound like he sound. He what? Now? He sound like a back door man. Don't you hear how he talk? He don't I, sound masculine. I ain't never heard that's his that, voice. That's that when old school picture, player, that those nigga. kind of things. So that's like yeah, that's, look at yeah. that nigga, dog. If you heard, if you hear his voice, it's already it's solidified. Not just from the picture, but his voice. He sound like a back door man. Anybody could have. Uh, Shirley Strawberry, I feel for you. Oh you my fuck God. God. she fell for the okie doke. Look, they God, got the dookie dick. <laughs> She <laughs> fell for the okie doke. Dog it. Strawberry, strawberry. That's the neighborhood. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> and, and, and strawberry, not by accident. And Steve, the motherfucker's name is Ernesto. And I want to say this about No, this. he calls himself that. His you got real more on the Steve Harvey shit. Wait, his real legal name is Ernest Williams, but he tried to try to zhuzh it up and give himself some Ernest, flavor. Oh, that's some bullshit. His, too. Er, er, his name is Ernest. Williams, but he got, he, he got added a, their Ernesto. He got a Mobile, Alabama name. Yeah, oh, mm-mm. Ernest, anyway. Ernest. He tried to give himself some more flavor. Oh, that shit a fucking hot mess right there. Look, look, look. You got more on the Steve Harvey shit? No, go ahead. I just want to say this. Go ahead. I hope Steve Harvey stop explaining himself to motherfuckers. Stop explaining yourself, G. If you a G, motherfucker going to talk about you, homie. You in the spotlight, man. You in the spotlight, dog. Motherfuckers. Motherfuckers love to see one of the titans fall, man. This is what I'm trying to tell you. Don't. Don't go for it. Don't. Yeah. You sit here acting like and saying what somebody else is. Say who you are, G. You can learn by listening to some of these fools out here. Listen to me, G. 
I don't give a fuck what the next motherfucker doing. I'm talking about whoever. You say who you are. Don't, hey, you can't talk about this because this, no, nah, this who I am, motherfucker. I got money. If I fuck my money off, I fuck my money off. God damn it. Who is them people? Oh, stupid. That's, that's her? That's her on the left. That's the strawberry bitch? Yeah, the shorter one. Uh huh. Oh, that bitch looked like one of the pointer sisters at a drag queen concert. I can't with this man. <laughs> at a drag queen. Dang it. Who is the other girl? The other, there's a new That's one. That's Les, ain't it? No. That's Big Les? No. <laughs> she oh. But you know, if them motherfuckers didn't have that makeup on, you wouldn't even know who they was. You see the bitch, the other bitch, how much makeup she got on? No, nah, them motherfuckers look crazy right there, dog. But anyway. Anyway, bless her heart. OG She's Steve. Gonna... You ain't got dog. You got paper. You ain't got to explain shit. And, and I'm telling you, in your face, motherfuckers is gonna be like, ah. you. It don't matter what the fuck happened in your face. Them motherfuckers is gonna be like, ah. you got paper, nigga. You ain't got to explain that shit. Divorce is divorce, nigga. Divorce happens to everybody who got nuts. You ain't finna, the only way you're not gonna get divorced is if you just hold your nuts and push them up in your body the whole relationship. Well, in all fairness, didn't he? <laughs> then but you in say all the fairness. The nuts turned to a uterus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the nuts turned into a German chocolate cake, Nick. But in all fairness, wasn't he saying that he would follow up his, whenever he would say something, speak on it? What did he, he would, say? He would say, though, that, hey, I'm just, I'm, that he's standing up for his woman. Well, see, with, with, with his situation, even with his wife, she got a questionable past that people know about. And he's so the right, more he keep right. talking, mm -hmm. he just make it worse anyway. Mm -hmm. He fucked up from the beginning Bringing from attention. even being married to a person with that kind of past. So mm -hmm. he getting what, really what he deserved. But Spud, look, check this out. This is, I, I, look, what you said. He's just not handling it. Like what you right. said, I ain't against that. Cause we know how it really go out here, dog. Right. Mm -hmm. Niggas cuff bitches that they should have never cuffed. At all. But what I'm saying is, this nigga needs some guidance now, cause he in love and don't want to lose her. Because when them niggas get old, they notice they last hurrah. Yeah. I know too many niggas in that age group. They do not want to let that woman go, even if they know it ain't real. They'll be like, you can go out there and fuck people, just please don't leave me. Wow. <laughs> it's motherfuckers like that. What? When you get older. In that age group? Oh, yeah. How old are you, Spud? I'm 53. I'm 54, man. Listen, I'm still young enough where I can tell a bitch to hit the train track. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. Bitch, get on the train tracks and walk for four months <laughs> until the end comes. I'm still young enough to do that. But see, if I get in a relationship now, it has to be somebody who's going to be with me forever. I cannot make a choice at this age and then be later on down the line trying to get going through a divorce. Yeah. Right. It yeah. might kill you. But he fucked up anyway because he didn't even have a prenuptial agreement. Well, we don't know that. Do well, we? well, they said he don't have a pre. He said he don't have one. Then the bodyguard, his bodyguard, hooked him back up with Marjorie. But he does say he gives her. You know, he and and, and in that actual explanation that we're talking about, that actual one today, I think it was earlier today. Uh huh. That he actually gives everything up to her, like saying, like if it weren't for her, he wouldn't be. He in can't give up everything because he, he don't want to. Steve Harvey can't be out here starting over financially. Not at he got to have that paper. If you an old nigga starting over financially, the bitches that's going to be in your bed, you going to realize it's over for me. Yeah. Real them shit. bitches gonna be on their phone and shit while you fucking <laughs> them and shit. Come on, Steve, like, come and do this TikTok with me. Look, they gonna fun. be like this and shit. They want you to do a TikTok with them. <laughs> and, and I think what she's fifty-seven and he's sixty-six. Really? Yeah, oh. they, they got a, a big mm -hmm. age. Cut. I'm not oh, sure God. how old everybody mm -hmm. is. Okay. It's a bad. A it's a bad situation, and I'm telling I'm telling every man out there when it's bad, let the heat come. Just let it come. Cut they gon' talk shit about you. This motherfuckers out here that I know they can't wait till they get some real shit on me. 
And when it come, I'm going to laugh with the motherfucker. Hey, McCoy, y'all, show is. You put, you, you, I don't see how motherfucker can get nothing on you. You tell her, you tell her everything bad about you. So motherfucker can't sneak up on you with nothing anyway. <laughs> I mean, we all got shit we ashamed of, man. But you didn't tell her. You damn near ashamed of that. I let a bitch lick my ass. Oh, please, see. I was like, don't open those doors. She don't said open she was going to tell everybody. Hey, I'm sorry. Oh, I beat you to it, bitch. Now look, now look. you went and got the red. Oh. I got my ass licked, all right? Oh. Put it out there now, bitch. Put it out there. I'll take the heat. Put it out there. All them niggas, like, I knew that nigga did freaky shit. The bitch licked my ass, dog. She gave me a massage that was hella fine, dog. Like she was able to work my muscles and shit. And then all of a sudden she put my balls in her mouth from the back when I was laying down. And I knew what was coming after that. I said, I refuse to come She's going to lick my ass next. And next thing I know, it was like, <laughs> <laughs> He's on got, the Pillsbury he, Doughboy side out of, of the game. Out of that whole, out of that whole, <laughs> out of that whole thing he just spoke about, I was like, he got muscles. He said she rubbed his muscles. You said, I, I got muscles. <laughs> I'm just messing with you. I know. Head. Okay, okay. Look okay. at everybody laughing at me. Oh. They they going to let me have it. See? <laughs> See? Anyway. All right. Trying to finish as much as I can. I know it's 10 o'clock already. Sorry. Anyway, Keep trying um, to read, D. <laughs> anyway, congratulations, I guess. Because I don't know how Corey's going to take this one. Please let me let this one out. Congratulations. <laughs> they to say Corey spread eagle. <laughs> oh, oh. Fuck y'all, niggas. <laughs> Congratulations to the homie, Little Rel. He got engaged. And the way he did it at the Beyonce concert, actually, and he got help, actually, from... Here we go. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Stop. You know it's funny. Go ahead. Uh, it is kind of. But I love Little Rel. He, he can't got, do no And it was super cute. Beyonce. He got engaged at the Beyonce concert and actually got help this from... Is Corey unhelified now. He got help from all of them. He got <laughs> Grocery help from, brothers. He got help <laughs> from <laughs> Beyonce. He got help from her mom, <laughs> Tina Knowles. He got help from Jay-Z. He got help from everybody. Um, he said it was... Um, <laughs> it was super cute. You got to watch <laughs> some of the interviews that he talks about how it all happened. Anyway, he proposed. <laughs> they put it on the jumbo screen. Tron, they actually did it in uh, during her concert, like right in the middle of it. Hey, D, my daughter just took me last week to the rim Beyonce job. Concert. And was it just, it was just wow. No, let me tell you, that's Babylon and that motherfucker. It was motherfuckers with thongs on, with bras, the worst shit I ever See? seen in my mother. I life. bet. Look at and you're picture. talking about the men. And Look you're at talking about picture. the men. I'm talking about yeah. the men had that shit. Hey, boy, real, shot down. Look here, brother. Congratulations, Ram. Hey, nigga. <laughs> we 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 got you back, dog. We praying for you, man. If you did what you did, you did what you did. You did what you did, dick. It was super cute. Anyway, congratulations. <laughs> and they got me engaged to um right in the middle he, he of did Love it on at Top. The, the fruit booty concert. And then he right at, at the, the song Love on Top. Concert. Oh, that's sweet. Hey, Corey, them motherfuckers had on thongs, cowboy boots, Beyonce, all every dude at that concert except me, nigga, was dressed in drag. What was you doing then, nigga? Man, my daughter, daughter pulled me to that said. shit, man. man. I'm so tired of people blaming their daughters she and shit. Did. Oh, did Lord. Your daughter made you go, huh? You, hey, man, look, what I'm going to tell kudos her, man. Kudos to you for taking you know, tell her, I don't go to shit like that. Oh, I didn't know the shit was like that, though. He's no fun. You ain't know, you ain't know, know it was the... You ain't know it was the Fruit Booty no, Festival. No, hell no. I would have never went to that shit. But the show was good, right? The concert was good. Was it good? Beyonce is good. Come on. Oh, booty stop. Booty. He doesn't want to admit it. You can no, see it. It was, a, it was a good show, but every dancer was Fruit Booty. Every usher. They hired even the ushers that night was Fruit Booty. The whole, sh man, that's just bad. Did you say Beyonce daughter looked like a drag queen? What's wrong with you? <laughs> oh, my bad. I thought that's what you said. We are the champions, ass niggas up in that motherfucker, dog. Worse than that. Anyway, uh, but congratulations, little rail. Mm. You you um you real, real we got you back, homie. Call me when you need me. You real cool. You cool with Lil Real? I know Lil Real. He from the ski from, from the, the crib. Mm -hmm. I mean, but I'm saying like dog, it, it, you you want me to tell you it was on the jump on the jumbotron, it was all set up. You get right, what I'm they saying? Did. Yeah. He even talks about how he set it up. And it's like he yo, asked them for help. I I root for Lil Real, man. I don't want nothing bad to happen to Lil Real, but Lil Real, this is first time getting married, right? You must be broken down to nothing oh, Lord. before you realize what something is. Yes. Don't be scared. That's oh, what I got Lil to Rel. say about that. 
You must be broken down to the molecule. What does she do though? What is her? Do you know any information on her career? Does she no. have a career? No, she I red. Never. I know. I know what happened to niggas. Got your little red bra. Oh wow! Do your thing, homie. You'll find out how it go. Man. You got to pay for her like lawyer like and yours. Did you know that? <laughs> like that? Hey. Niggas don't know, dog. Hey, that's fast forward to the truth. That's what I call it. Niggas that. are that's fine fast. out, dog. Oh, oh, that look beautiful that shit moment. right there. Everybody oh, happy. Most of the moment. people happy because they know what's going to happen to you. Oh, that picture right there says everything. It does. It does. This is a tricks world in around this one. Wish you the best. Wish you the best. She bro. gonna take your car. <sighs> your love. See, Mike Brown Corey hate happy people. Even no, took no, your cream. They're happy. She got the nerve to suck my dick. Got the nerve oh, to her. suck that's my her. dick. She mm -hmm. take my. That's a better. That's a, a, a better. Oh my goodness. Hey man, I wish them luck, man. Yeah. Yeah, I ain't gonna hate. I ain't no hater, man. I just know what oh, they, it is. Oh, they actually man. say he's been married and divorced before. He's been he, married and divorced yeah, before. He married yeah. again. Get the fuck out of here. That's what they. That's what a couple of people have said that on there. Well, Uncle Rail ain't never been married before. I mean, Little Rail ain't never been married before, has he? Uncle Rail. <laughs> Uncle Rail. The hell? No, it's a nigga in Chicago named oh, Uncle oh, Rail. Oh. What's up, Uncle Rail? Shot Town Comedy. Anyway, speaking of couples, so uh, tonight, actually, today, it was weird because they said that they've... Somebody really, say cocktail, salad, hokum. Fuck they've, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> they've really never had awards on a Tuesday night. But anyway, the, the MTV um, awards are tonight going on. They actually are probably over by now because they were held on a Tuesday night and in New Jersey at the Prudential Center in Newark. Uh, and it is hosted again for the second time by Nicki Minaj and again... The sheer um, clothing is kind of in, I guess, because everybody was having a sh wearing sheer clothing. Had that monkey out. Oh, even our friend uh, to the show, Tiffany Haddish. I was like, what? But she's kind of making fun of it. Like, uh, I guess she's paying, you know, whatever it is. This is the story kind of like they got pictures. Yeah. She wore a dress like Kiki Palmer's with everything like the thong in the back. Where? Uh, Ooh, they could Tiffany probably. Haddish, yeah. Well, but where the, the monkey at? But well, there's, about, got it? there's about a dozen <laughs> other there's about a dozen other outfits as well that are that, on the sheer side. Um, but just moving on real quick while they're looking for some of the Let's photos, see Tiffany Ash. They're looking for it. But in moving on. At That's the, the homie. I ain't supposed to be looking at it. At, but I'll look. No, she didn't, she's laughing. There she is. Oh, it's so pretty. Where? And then she turned around and we we're like, uh oh. Where's that? Oh, they oh. got to find the back. The what back. a back picture. Niall's got it. look like some figure skating oh, shit. That's great. You like that outfit, D? Um, Tiffany, look, Tiffany look cute right there. Yeah, yeah she looked nice. Yeah. Did you have wore that back in the day, D? I have worn. D been out I've of here, worn. bust <laughs> down, Stop nigga. Stop it. I have worn uh, some <laughs> stuff that's either very similar or probably a lot more scandalous than that. But in and my younger the, days. Why, how y'all got this frontal that. picture? Been there, done that. There it is. Oh, okay. there it is. Oh, let me it see. It is sharp. Look at that. I didn't even see the top part. That's pretty sharp. See that look right there? That's that look them girls be looking back at me when I be like, you feel that? <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> but it is. <laughs> You're so stupid. Oh, my God. Fuck you, bitch. God. Oh, my God. <laughs> Megan the Stallion. I'm sorry. Hey, I know that, her Stallion. dress was badass. And you could tell, sister's been in the gym, man. Oh, she yeah? was already, yeah. Do you think she natural, D? You think she um, I, if she has, it's some of the best fucking stuff because she, to me, she looks she pretty looks natural. natural and she's big, so it kind of goes well with her her size, her height and everything. She has she's, her foot healed yet? I think so. She's been in the gym, man. That dress she had on. You talking about Meg Thee Stallion? Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm wondering if she natural is that any you enhanced? Think she got and on lace shoes with that hole in the foot? <laughs> Think so. Anyway, she looks pretty darn healthy right now. So I'm just um, fucking with but you. But st sticking with the um. Oh, that's her right there. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, she Tiffany. Tiffany can't show that stomach like that. That C-section scar. No, I'm fucking with you. Tiffany ain't got no kids yet. Hey, ain't nobody caught her up. Right. Right. Who right? oh, Tiffany oh, yeah, went now? Ain't Tiffany got a boyfriend now? Uh, I don't think so. I just saw it at the concert last Sunday. Uh, yeah, Meg, she got that body motherfucking together. Woo, and with she that makeup that on, she actually looked like she looked nice. She, yeah, she always is look nice. She's, she take that makeup off. It's like, Mammy! No, not her. Mama she do, does, no, she, Mammy! She does like a Mama lot do. of post without makeup. She doesn't have that problem. I think even when that, she we looks see. great hey, naturally. I'm telling you. That's, Show that's Meg without makeup, makeup and you will see a natural. whole nother motherfucker. They don't, they don't look No, great. some of them. You can tell. A girl can tell. A girl, a girl can, can tell. tell what? 
when they when they're trying to do pull off that natural thing where they go, oh, I'm I'm makeup free, whatever. So do you have any makeup on tonight? Oh yeah. I do. Let's this see, is your one shit the, look more natural. Oh, well, thank shit. you. But this is one of the only nights that I put makeup on. All through the week, I'm like, I don't I don't really like to put on too much makeup. So. All right, you taco stand lady during the week. Get your ass. <laughs> anyway, go on, Megan. She looks great. Um, but in speaking of the awards, here's my thing that I thought that was the cutest thing ever, was that now they have confirmed that Ashanti and Nelly are really back together. About that pussy, then you did. And because you know they had a thirteen. What is it? How how long were they? Did they part? I think it was like something like thirteen years. Anyway, they reunited, and it's so super cute. So they came out, not came out, but validated it at the awards. So they actually showed up together. And what's super cute is I think there's a picture of Ashanti. But she has a purse. It's a clutch, custom made, and it has their picture on it. But they trying to get back at Irv Gotti though. They were talking him. all that shit about Ashanti and putting her business out. I mean, what he they say can't about help, it? but in that in the he documentary, said, he, he said was he was like, fucking the bitch, and then he wrote a song for Ja Rule after they got out of the shower. Look at the purse. Oh, the clutch is super cute. It's a picture of her and Nelly, like an older picture. Well, oh. She wear a lot of makeup too, Cor. I wonder how she well, looks in real life. They are at an award, so a lot of times the girls will wear. But I've seen like a boy. I, no, she ain't she ain't cute. She's got beautiful I'm skin. I've seen her without makeup. Let's see a picture of her without no makeup. Please. Please, guys. Find a picture of Ashanti without no makeup. You don't never see no picture with her without no makeup. Really? I've seen her on vacation because she posts a lot of different things of her on vacation. I've seen her without no makeup. She looks fine to me. These bitches out here in, in the ocean with makeup on. <laughs> no, I have seen that. That I can't stand. Hey, them bitches when they got be that. in the gym. gym. They be in the gym what made the up. Hell? Yeah. You got to be an ugly bitch if you can't even sweat. Them fishes be that on the phone trying to call corny. the shark. Oh, hey, man, her. this bitch out here with makeup, cute. man. Come get this bitch. Come Super this cute. Bitch. I think, anyway, I thought that was adorable. So, yeah. Yeah, that's a cool clutch purse. That's See? a great idea. Cute. Look. Oh. Anyway, wish him well. These that's bitches use your picture to get in the feds out here, the hoes. I know. That's stupid. <laughs> Rotten ass bitches. They ain't never did nothing nice with a picture. Oh, Except roll nice. their eyes at it. Anyway, so that's it. But I do have a word of the week. Okay, what is it? Oh, there goes Oh, go go. Oh, that's way super young too. Oh, damn! Look, that she bitch, she's sixteen there. That bitch got the point guard teeth in that motherfucker, nigga. No, no, what's that shit they used to shave with when they... When they magic shave. Straight razor? Oh, you mean there? Magic shave. No. Yeah, what's wrong with her throat, goddammit? D? What about it? This bitch had that's a tracheotomy or something. That's bad lighting. <laughs> no, it's that bad lighting. Bad. That bitch got a beard. Oh, I don't know. It's bad lighting, I <laughs> guess. Look at them bags around her. You know, that's right. beautiful, D. That's natural. Yeah, I mean, guys well, make it... That's natural, but is she beautiful now? Yes. I mean, that bitch look like LL girl. Cool J right there. Dude. You guys can't make up your mind. It's either they look tore, tore up without like, makeup or they that look. like John Leo. From they got Houdini. too much makeup on. I mean, my Lord, God. That bitch look like a turtle. All right, so the word Out of the week shell. is misanthrope. Misanthrope. Mm-hmm. Misanthrope. Oh, I broke up M-I-S- with this girl because of her misanthrope. M I S A N T H R O. That ain't no real word. Yes, it is. Misanthrope. Misanthrope. Do you know what I mean? What is it? Someone who dislikes people in general. Wait, is Corey so, a misanthrope? Ah, dang it, <laughs> you took it up. See? I didn't say it. No, no, yeah. no, that, that's what you brought that up for. We laugh at all this shit. We do. Anyway, so there's the word of the week. Too. Misanthrope. Misanthrope. Someone who, M-I-S-A-N-T-H-R-O-P-E. Okay. Someone who dislikes people in general. There you go. <laughs> that's the white man. Yeah, and I did not want to bring up the Tyree stuff again. Uh I know everybody want to talk about Tyrese and DJ Envy. This is what I say about it. Uh, fuck it, I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I want to hear this. None of that shit that was said in that studio counts. Because if you ain't finna say it to the motherfucker outside, then stop. Tyrese can't get into no argument on in public like that. Tyrese is still doing movies, the motherfucking um, Fast and Furious movies. But he kind of, he didn't really. I mean, he waited until he was he left the show and then kind of got on social media. What did he right? do on social he, media? What did he say? Uh, no, no, no. That's what I've heard. I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't. I Tyrese, just... listen, bro. It ain't worth it, dog. It ain't worth. It. See, I just saw Tyrese a couple of weeks ago. Where at? In front of the Lab Factory. Uh-huh. Tyrese in shape. He'll beat your ass. Even though we know our brother an emotional brother, 
You know what I'm saying? But Tyrese ain't no little bitty motherfucker you finna just talk that shit to outside. Oh, he all swole when you see him a little bit. Man, and I wait, do feel man, bad Tyrese for him. Tyrese ain't no little bitty motherfucker. But he does all the posting and stuff. I feel bad for him. I'm just I saying, dog. I'm just saying, I, I, I wish both of them brothers well. Mm. But I'm just saying, man, some motherfuckers only talk shit on the mic. Because he said he wanted to box no, his mouth. Who wanted to box him out? Wait, That's what? what DJ Envy told Tyrese. He said he wanted to do what? He said, when you said that shit to my wife, that made me want to box your mouth. Right. He said He's, it when he was on the show. Right. He said it when he was on the show. He said he made it made him want to do that. Now, what happened? Nothing. Nothing. And then Tyrese, of course, said <laughs> he, that he, was, he, he He wanted to run his said mouth. That he, couldn't right. remember, he, he said that he couldn't remember that he did all that because he was on medication. I can see, I can see motherfuckers like, 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 like pulling it on certain motherfuckers because they never do nothing. Right. Dog, you got to do some type of demonstrations out here for motherfuckers to understand what the fuck it is, man. That's why it's a motherfucker look punk motherfucker with a camera in motherfuckers face in front of the motherfucking improv on Monday nights in L.A. Because ain't no demonstrations been done. But when a demonstration is done, motherfuckers ain't going to do that. That's no old more. school. You remember that when people say, oh, they. motherfucker in the street. Well, right. you remember when people what? used to always say that, like, oh, they never had their ass beat. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, yeah. So but see, I think, think DJ Envy, it. too, he trying to create another scenario because he caught up in that fraud shit from the real mm -hmm. estate. Mm -hmm. So now he needs something else to take the attention off of that. So I think ah. he using Tyrese's Tyrese, Tyrese, you know you ain't got time for that shit. Nigga. Get your money, Should've brother. Keep plot, getting yeah. your motherfucking get Hollywood your fast money. Get furious money. Right, mm -hmm. get your Hollywood money. You ain't got time. You think if a motherfucker ran up on me at this stage of my life, I'm going to fight him? I'm going to tell him, listen, man, I got something for that. <laughs> I ain't got time to fight you. Nigga, I got to go on the road Judy. and go hustle. <laughs> I can't go on the road. What if I fight a motherfucker and my wrist get broke or, or the motherfucker whoop my ass? And then what you think is just going to be that? It's too many motherfuckers counting on me to be there. So there's a pecking order for all that. You don't get to fight Corey. But see, I this is what happens. Somebody going to walk up to you and be like, hey, hey. Let me talk to you, man. And they go normally fix it by talking to you because you're going to see what it is. That's just how life really works when you're an OG. But see, you I, ain't got time to be fighting. I think these cameras play tricks. A motherfucker really don't know how big you are though, until they see you in person. It's yeah. his head, his arm. Um, uh, right. um, he ain't like no little motherfucker, though. So the average <laughs> person ain't going to run up on you anyway. <laughs> all I'm saying, all these women who think they can whoop D, if you ever see D knees... <laughs> <laughs> <gasps> D got small piece of box knees. <laughs> D, let me see your knees. Let me talk about your knee. No, my whole legs are big. Look, they look, they like cylinders. D thicker than a two dollar Snicker. Hey, boy. they used to call me cylinder later. Bam. Ugh. Anyway, don't get what I'm no saying is, man. Match with me, Tyrese, don't fall for it. No matter who try you. Ain't that the same thing I said with Steve Harvey, though? Yeah, that's I true. I tell yeah. motherfucker, you can't go for that, dog. Man, you can tell a motherfucker, I, 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 right, and it's not going to work. Yeah, yeah, I got yeah. too much shit to do. He was doing good at first, and then he just had, he was the Steve Harvey. He wasn't even commenting on it, then he just, and his then he pride. Just, yeah. Who? Steve Harvey wasn't commenting on it. Well, shit. Steve then Harvey then worries right. about what the public think, and it's like, I get that. Yeah. But I'm saying, I tell Steve Harvey, dog. When motherfuckers talking shit about you, okay, nigga, you got paper. <laughs> right. They ain't talking shit about the other niggas because other niggas ain't got paper. The other <laughs> niggas talking shit about you and gonna <laughs> the Wait. broke motherfuckers. They gonna spill the beans on you because it helps them get the notoriety they need. Right. The strawberry bitch ain't nobody, nobody know. Don't nobody know the strawberry bitch. Oh my nobody God. knew she had a little fruit booty boyfriend until she opened her motherfucking mouth. Yeah. Now that she opened her mouth, we know Dookie <laughs> been in your well, DNA. Well, nobody knew he was arrested. That's and they for had sure the for story what? today on the Breakfast Club. That's how big that shit is. They had their story on the Breakfast Club. On the Breakfast Club. Wow, the rumor that's terrible. Some God. Shit. Everybody gonna tell on me one day something they find. <laughs> I, I be thinking the shit I could say that if I found that if people found out, I'd be hurt. Let me oh, see. so there's something that you'd be hurt. Wait, what I'm do you just mean? saying, like, I'd be trying to think of shit. What did I do out After here? All these years, you ain't thought of nothing. I mean, this shit is some stuff you hold tight to the chest. But I'm saying, like, what if it was all put out there? Well, I'd be like, what? So, 
What the fuck? I don't give a fuck, nigga. Thank you, Gooch. I'm not living the average I, I situation. The I believe that, that <laughs> my time on this planet has been good for the most part. I think the average person is hiding the, the more than one woman, and you just express that all the time. So it ain't really so it ain't nobody even like to no, say. Yeah, well, how are they going to be? You tell yeah. the bitches you like other bitches. Well, I'm just saying, it's like women is hiding nigga. You think that strawberry bitch ain't getting hit with a banana? Uh, the way she was talking back to that guy, I think she's seriously uh, sadly let me waiting. Let me tell you something. A bitch is the only creature that can cry and lie at the same time. Say that again. A bitch is the only creature that can cry and lie at the same time. You are my man, but I disagree. I done seen some niggas crying and lying. <laughs> Now they bitches, if you say it ain't well, all female bitches, bitch. Bitch, man, man, I done seen some niggas motherfucking lie like a motherfucker while they crying. Wow. Please, man. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Nigga still lying. <laughs> put the broomstick in his ass. Remember that old school gangster <laughs> shit? Niggas put broomsticks in niggas' ass. Uh. That was a form of torture. Wow. Yeah, it happened like yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer. How they didn't they kill him like that yeah, with a mop? No, no. Yeah, he beat, mop beat, got beat to death with a uh, mop broomstick or something. Who? Yeah. Jeffrey Dahmer didn't they beat his ass with a? a, a in prison, mop? mops heavier than yeah, a motherfucker, dog. Yeah. And a black dude did it. And then you know they sent him so much money, man. After he did that, that motherfucker hmm. rich in prison. Yeah. All I'm saying is Jeffrey Dahmer was number one on Netflix, and R. Kelly was in jail. Yeah. Ain't that a motherfucker? This hey. motherfucker that ate people. Uh, and they got my man R. Kelly on some shit that ain't even the fucking some underage fuck shit. shit. They got him on a whole ass charge. Y'all motherfuckers, good. do y'all see what's going on in this world, though? They can bad. put you in jail for absolutely nothing. And then blow it up. Blow the shit up. And then have people like Ofra, the agents, them motherfuckers, perpetrating the fraud of who you are, and you ain't got no motherfucking power to fight it back. At all. Hey, Ain't cool. nothing Oprah could tell me about anybody that I'm going to hold up. And she was kicking in with I, the Epstein guy, too. Right. Mm -hmm. Oprah, mm -hmm. Oprah Winfrey don't fuck with no real niggas. Name me one real nigga been in the presence of Oprah. Name one. You can't name one. Well, she been she with do not for fuck, so long. She oh, do not fuck oh, with oh, real yeah. niggas at all. Stephen she fuck real. with puppies, puppets. Hey, I Corey, peeped it. And Corey, did you see recently, man, I think a few days ago, how the, somebody did a mass shooting to do with the swast sticker on his own rifle? Oh, yeah? I don't know. Did you, mm -hmm. did you read that? Somebody just did a mass shooting, man. A white dude just killed some black people. Well, he had a, um, uh, I, I don't know the exact It scene. ain't even out there like that? No, but they ain't publicized. It's out there, but they ain't really This picture it says a million words right here. But oh. that's not Epstein. That's the other one. There's so many of those. How gummies. Oprah Rich like that and got the plaque teeth? The what? Plaque teeth. What are you talking about plaque teeth? Yeah, that that bitch her, looked that like she home, drunk boy. 1,500 Mountain Dews. <laughs> Does not. Now you need glasses. Her teeth look fine. You ever see her without makeup? Oh, my yeah, God. Yeah, without makeup. Um, no, not Celie. Celie was the other one. What she was looked like an Oscar fish. She nigga. looked like a, a black Epstein, right? I mean, uh, what's that What's that dude's name? That's an old boy who was telling. And he ran Hollywood, though. He was telling them bitches, bust that puts out and, or and, go back on the Greyhound and bus. And tried bitch. to fake like he was in a wheelchair at that. They said that court. motherfucker was musty than a motherfucker. Hey, man, he got that bread. He ain't finna be in jail, man. That man finna be out fucking yeah, these hoes yeah. again. Weinstein. That's Weinstein. Yeah, yeah. He hey, gonna but be he, fucking them hoes. His company made the majority of the movies in Hollywood. Yeah, too. yeah God damn it. That's why he's just like Donald Trump. I don't know why and they came at him. They came out. at him for whatever they did, but he got that paper, man. That man will be Penises back on the streets in a minute. Ugly Do you think he should be the president again, Corey? What you think about that? Say that again? You think he should be the president again? Who? Trump. Do you, I don't, do you like him as a I don't president? deal with none of that sucker shit, presidencies, all that shit. All I know is while Obama was in office, the laws they passed jumped off all the fuck shit that's going on nowadays it's, with privacy. That's real, that's real shit. You have no privacy nowhere. The only privacy you on got everything. is if you got motherfuckers out there, super socking motherfuckers that's recording you. <laughs> super socking. Sock. Motherfuckers who recording you supposed to get super socked. Yeah. Blah! Remember that old Batman? Uh, bam! Yeah. Bam! You know, that type of shit. Hey, remember Batman got drunk. See, did y'all see when Geraldo 
Walked up to that motherfucking dude. He got his nose broke. When, not that one. Yeah. Geraldo walked up to this dude when they was doing that wrestling, and he said, is it fake? Oh, boy, said, is oh, it yeah, fake? He slapped the shit. Ah! <laughs> oh, then yeah, Geraldo got up. He didn't run. So old boy was like, yeah, oh, yeah, you think it's fake? Slapped him again. <laughs> Ah, Arolo got up running. That is the only justice you get out here in this world. If you ain't finna motherfucking demonstrate, man, motherfuckers gonna try you. Five fingers of death. You're one of the favorite one. That get your that right. Oh my god, the claw. That one, That's what they call that it. That's my favorite one. That's Andre Bailey, ain't it? Get your Andre Bailey's claw. That, that, who was, who was Andre Bailey? The one that was on the show last oh, week it? with that hair. Oh, that one. Oh no. You know oh. Andre be up there, man. When yeah, I, I forgot Bailey got that. I forgot about he got the hand. Yeah, he got the dead inside <laughs> hand. <laughs> All the inside is dead. I, I, I remember y'all was bagging on him at the improv. Sweet right? and pudding in and his I hand. I never looked at his hand. I see why he wear them long sweaters now, man. That nigga took that hand out, nigga. Man, that motherfucker got the and ugliest got hand. Right. And they got a heroin hand. That nigga need they, he gonna it's gonna be a felony if he don't wear gloves after what his hand look like an eagle's foot himself. like he can hang upside down. Or if he change a pamper with that hand, that, <laughs> He's that's a felony. Me. Boy, that baby that's gonna a have a, that's molested. Oh. That baby gonna oh, have a bacterial I didn't vaginosis. Want to look at it too long. <laughs> that's his heart. Oh, this I didn't, I didn't crazy. Want, I he said that quick. baby gonna have bacteri bacterial bacterial vaginosis. Yeah, I can't. If he put Vaseline on his hand and rub it on the baby nuts or, or whatever that little asshole is on the baby, that baby, that baby asshole going to say, yeah. Okay, somebody has a baby and a hand. God dang it, I can't. Everybody. Just it's this stop. movie called Beowulf. I never heard of that. I know, it's a, it's a movie. It ain't shit. It's damn near. Car. Look, they showing him getting slapped. Wait. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, whoa. Watch you get up and run. Oh, that's a little quick what they say. <laughs> if you ain't on this type of shit with motherfuckers who talking crazy, dog, <laughs> oh, you shit. ain't fixing the problem. This fixes problems. He asking that motherfucker. So is wrestling fake? Oh boy was like, what? Ooh, la la. <laughs> you know what this La is? la. <laughs> Somebody make the sound effect. La la when he slapped a motherfucker. Man, this karate teacher told me something man, a long time ago on some real shit. He said out of ten people, he said six of them you might be able to talk out of fight. He said, but four of them motherfuckers, you're going to have to hit them. Yeah. They yeah. just won't yeah. let you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The average motherfucker, man, they don't believe nothing until they get the shit knocked out of them. <laughs> oh, God, I can't. <laughs> Somebody said that nigga, Andre Bailey hand played on the wire. <laughs> <laughs> What's that thing on the Adams Family when that motherfucker hand Did come out? It's this movie up? called Beowulf. That lady had an ugly, big-ass monster baby that was killing everybody. Boy. <laughs> That's how Andre Hand looked. No, we did hand not get it. Did we family? take a picture with him? The no, phone the I box. feel bad for him. Did we get a close-up of his hand? There's nothing wrong it. with that hand. Even though it was a hand, he used to be walking around the house. It, was, it moved fast, too, didn't it? I was, damn, that hand, quick as hell. Damn it. Somebody say Geraldo was, Geraldo was real entertainment, though. Hell oh, yeah. hell yeah, he was. He took ass whoopings for the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was, a, he was great. Oh, I can't. This is just too much. Bernie Mac was cool with Oprah. What, what you looking at, D, before we wrap this I was shit trying up? to see if I had a picture of his hand because I looked really you quick. You took a picture? No, of no but I think they might have had a. You can get a steal from the video. <laughs> oh, I feel so bad. Oh, right yeah, way. I forget. I'm looking at my phone, Andre man. Andre Bailey, my man. That's a cool dude. Fuck you, Jimmy. Them shorts wasn't right. I raced Jimmy Martinez back in the day, and they motherfucking got it. And I think on that race, Jimmy won, but it was because my shorts was. Oh, falling here down. we go. I'm just saying, I'm fast to the motherfucker. Yeah, but Jimmy, moved, Jimmy Martinez, comedian from New York, that nigga moved fast to be that big. Like we had a race, had two big niggas racing. I had on some on big tape. loose shorts that wouldn't let me muff like denim type shit. And shits. you had your janitor keys on then too? <laughs> no wonder, that's probably really what it was. You won the race, congratulations, <laughs> motherfucker. Let's uh, race you now. You hear him. Like a, uh, yeah. High Corey can't ever sneak up janitor. on anybody. He got them janitor keys. Oh, no. You can't sneak up on nobody because you can't see him, you blind motherfucker. Look at him. Oh, look at Wasn't him. Wasn't that Reese who said that? Yeah, you blind. What's she him. say? In the pinky toe? I would oh. tell you to kiss my ass, too, but you can't find it, you blind motherfucker. <laughs> Fuck you, bitch. Blind, blind Mella Jelly. I want my daddy's records back. Oh, my God, that movie. I got to watch that. Re -watch Somebody that. say Beowulf was dope. Yeah, oh, it was really? dope. I'm going to have to watch it. What can you this see man, that? This, this man lied about everything for this pussy. That's what Beowulf was about. A motherfucker who lied and became king and everything over some pussy. You know what? If you wasn't a comedian, you could be a movie historian. Okay. 
Say that again. If you wasn't a comedian, you could actually be a movie historian. But I don't watch oh. a lot of movies. Oh, it's just stop. The yes, movies I watch, I, rem I remember. Yeah, I don't watch I don't a lot remember. of movies. Yeah, he's got that movie. Somebody memory. put me on to this movie, and it was one of the dopest movies I've ever seen. Uh, damn, it? why I can't think of this shit? Some, That's um, amazing, because you usually know, yeah. Um, uh, Downing Will. Um, Will. Damn, why I can't think of the name of this movie? It was on today. Uh, Who was in it? What's the famous comedian who died? Robin George Williams. Carlin. Robin Williams was in it. What? Now, 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 the other dude is the dude who played Jason Bourne. He was in this movie. Oh, Good Will Hunting. Good Hunting, yeah. Yeah, that was a good movie. That is, like, yeah. I would never watch that. But then one day somebody was like, just sit down and watch the motherfucking movie. Yeah. I sat down and watched the movie. It was dope as hell. That's like Fargo. A lot of yeah, people that was like. a good movie. I'm going to tell you a movie you might not have seen. It was a dope ass movie. You ever heard of a movie called The Sin of a Woman? No. With Al Pacino mm -hmm. on it. You ever seen that? When he was blind? Yeah, that was yep. a great movie. The mm -hmm. Scent of a Woman, man. That's yeah. some shit I never Okay, I'm going to watch it tonight. I'm going to watch that. The Scent of a Woman tonight. That shit was dope. Yeah, but moment. Goodwill Hunting was very good. Like, and, and real it's, it's not the type of movie that's fast. All you people who want the shit to just come at you right you away, watch it ain't it. that. Just, appreciate just watch, watch it. it all the way through. Where it show a lot of these motherfuckers who be playing hard. God damn it, really, they hurt. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's you. Oh, that is you for sure. Me. <laughs> I be playing dumb. Like, but look, let me tell you something, man. My my one of my main weapons is everybody think I'm just some dummy. That's my main weapon. Motherfuckers be trying me. I be like, look at this stupid motherfucker. Nigga, I'll peep you. All I gotta do is hear you talk three sentences and I got you. I know everything I need to know about you when you open your motherfucking mouth. See, when people fail to realize when you have the gift of discernment. You can't have nothing running over on you. Most people, man, they don't listen to learn nothing anyway. They listen just to fucking respond, so. Yeah. They don't know what's going on. Yeah, it is. Corey likes Brokeback Mountain. Fuck that. <laughs> <laughs> Sin of a Woman, good movie. Somebody uh. say Sin of a Woman. So which one is better, Sin of a Woman or... Um, no, I'm going to just watch. Yeah, you go. You going to really... Next week, you're going to comment on that movie because that was and a dope-ass movie. Well, and now, Al Pacino in it, too. And now I feel bad for him because now he... No you know country for old him. men. You yeah. know the young girl left him now. Oh, Somebody say the watermelon heist is a classic. The one that had the baby. DJ line. Snoopy, fuck you, nigga. You think you really got her pregnant at 80? She had the baby. What do Who? you mean? Yeah, she's had the baby. Who had a baby at 80? Al Pacino. Al Pacino. Now yeah. she left him. She's like 29 years old. He wasn't 80 when he had the baby. They just did. The baby's only like a... I'm a, saying Al Pacino. He's under a year. How old is Al Pacino? He's we like said his name something. wrong on the show. Whose name wrong? We said his, his age wrong on the show. Yeah, how old is he? Another movie I like, and I'm going to just put y'all up on it. It's another movie that's deep if you watch it, because it's basically what's happening with the motherfucking goddamn Jinnab, if you know what I'm saying. He's 83. He's v for Vendetta. Watch it. If what's you ain't got shit to do, V for oh, Vendetta. That action movie, yeah. Never, that, that, uh -huh. Watch it. You would like it. You would be like, oh, okay, he put me up on this. Yeah, I'm going to check that out. I like the way he broke the bitch down and made it into some invincible shit. I mean, this is a real fact. You got to break a bitch down before she can be who you need her to be out here. You have Because to. once you break her down and she motherfucking realize her real role in society, yeah. you have created something that's helping the world. Well, when well, you, you got a bitch out of here motherfucking talking about my pussy pig, my booty brown, that bitch ain't nothing. <laughs> oh my God. Nothing. Damn, their baby's only three months old. And she's hey, already hey but when you meet a bitch anyway, you got to debrief her from nothing. She's going to Vendetta right there. Hold on, wait, the baby what? He's only thir three Al months Pacino old. Al Pacino baby cry like this. <laughs> <laughs> she's 28. He's a kid. He's 83? Yes. I don't think your nut work at 83. I don't believe Shit, it. Shit, I don't know. Some motherfuckers, you dog. Think they, you think a motherfucker actually have a baby? Yeah. Some motherfuckers yeah. know what to drink and eat every day, dog. That's they still true. be fucking. And they got money, too. Yeah, they got yeah, diet. They know what and to Robert drink De Niro and just had a kid, too. I mean, they're all out there. He IP man, man. Like what is that? Oh, this black, new black one? Woman. Is a new one? That's a good one? Yeah, he he Somebody said IP man. No, I saw that. He does that, but yeah. What Phil say? I thought Phil. Okay, I'm going to watch IP Man, too. V for Vendetta. I'm going to check that mm -hmm. out. Uh, somebody say the novel was better. Nigga, ain't nobody reading, nigga. Fuck you talking it's about, nigga. It's a novel. Nigga. Right. <laughs> hey, haven't you heard if you want to hide something, put it in the book, nigga? Somebody say T for Toss Salad. Oh, my <laughs> God. <laughs> Stop it.
Uh, hey man, look, I kept my eyes open when I got my salad toast, nigga. I'm a real G. Oh, look at TMI. What did I say? She didn't even care that I was looking back, but I stopped looking back because it felt kind of it felt kind of weird. I was like, is this gay? When I was getting my ass licked, I was looking back at the bitch. I said, wait, let me keep my head forward and let it happen. You can turn back. You- you said if you, when you look you back, you're questioning yourself, was it gay? Right. Is it gay? <laughs> is if you it look gay, back like, when a bitch licking your ass. You can actually turn around and look back that That turned into a gay act. You're not supposed <laughs> to look back. You're supposed to sit there and watch Sports Center yeah. while you're getting and your him, ass licked. Just look, take it. That's the girl that had the baby. Wow. Where is she at? Ble- look like he, she's his handler. Like she's holding him up. Hell no. Nah. Bless his heart. Gray that- ball hair was in the house. Hey, man, that money is a motherfucker. You got ass. something. God. Now she going to look. He ain't never gonna know that kid. He 83, that kid. Oh, but you don't look like Wolfman Jack on that boy. Right, he look crazy <laughs> right there, dog. Golly, that's wild. Like Paul Spector. Somebody say she looked you deep in your eyes. She didn't. It was dark. <laughs> I was he looking can't back turn at her. That part. Somebody said the bitch that hypnotized you while she was looking at you. Damn. Mm-mm-mm-mm. And she didn't go in my ass with her finger. <laughs> that was another day. What are these things right here? What are these little things in your hand, like these little lines? That's a good question. She had respect for me. She never went past that first line. <laughs> See, bitches, bitches be fucking with me for real. She never put two lines in my head. <laughs> he said the bitches be fucking with him for real because they didn't violate him with the second crap. Right, the second, the second, that mean that bitch think you a bitch. That first part to see how well you clean your ass. That's all it is. Somebody say sounds bad. She used her thumb. She used her pinky. V thumb. for violating. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> Hell no. <nah. laughs> Anyway, let me wrap yeah, this please. up. Yeah, please. Oh, Lord. Finger crease. I want everybody out here to understand this. The reason the show is wrapping it up because I'm trying to get the Johnny Pastrami. No, I'm fucking with y'all. Oh, oh, I believe that. I want to say to all of the people out there who will wake up tomorrow with arms, legs, mouth, and function, you winning. Real shit. You winning. Go do something real for yourself, man. Tomorrow, man, I got my bike already tuned up. I'm right. Ra- I used to ride Which my one? bike 15 miles a day. I ain't doing nothing this weekend coming up. I'm your electric to see bike. What your electric bike. No, not the count. electric one. I'm oh, talking about the God. one you got to pedal. Good for you, Cor. Good for I'm you. Going, regular I'm bike. doing my shit from motherfucking goddamn it out there by Laurel Canyon all the way to Balboa and back. Uh, you gonna ride that? It's, it's it's over 15 miles when I do that. And let me tell you something. That's it ain't nothing back, you can play back. with. The reason I ride the bike instead of stationary bike, because when you make it out there, you got to get back. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You got to get back. I wish they didn't. I, have- I used to be able to do it like I used to not have to stop. Now I'd be. So it's 15 miles there total? and back total. It's over 15 miles. Wait, each way or total? And Laurel Canyon, it's a lot of. You got to be going up and down. Not shit. Laurel Canyon. You take. I start around Laurel Canyon. In the valley, the flat. Around Atlanta. Laurel Canyon and Ventura. Wow. And then you go to Balboa. And you come back. It, and you do it's a, a bike complete path. turnaround without stopping and rest. Well, I no, have. I have to stop and rest because I ain't been doing it. Oh. Like, I'm, I'm trying to get back in shape where I can motherfucking take this shirt off and be like, bitch, you ready for my only? Oh, but I'm Lord. Saying, I ain't not when I get naked. I'll be like, I'm glad you're here, bitch. You know I wish saying? the mosquitoes weren't so bad out there because I would, I, would, I, would, I would tie something up to this thing and I'd roller skate. You could pull me. That'd be so well, much Well, see, fun. I bought some roller skates that's dope. I bought some real, some real roller skates. I, that's and I'll be seeing people out there skating, yeah. but I used to be like, uh, can you I do that? You know how to skate? I love I, I think oh, I know how to go cause, forward. Because in the shot, that's what they, in Detroit, that's yeah. what they used to do, skating. Yeah. I'm going to see mm-hmm. what's up, man. I'm, 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 I'm uh, for cutting my skate? phone off. Where did you off? get the skates from? Where you buy the skates from? Oh, it's a place out there. Um, that's great exercise. I need to, I need to get the name mm-hmm. of the skates. Hold on you one got second. Some precision. I bet they call it Precisions. Precision? Yeah, them top of the one of the top of the line skates. I want to help shout out the dude. It's out there going toward. Damn, man. 
You got outside wheels or you bought them? The I do both. Too. I switch mine. I have mine in the car right now. You got roller skates I have and roller blades. Roller skates. And I used to roller blade too. I could do all that. And um, I skate. Skate fanatics. Where is that at? That's Just look up mine. skate fanatics. Skate fanatics, oh, okay. yeah. It's out there. But they got some quality skates. Like a lot of places sell you some bullshit skates. Right. They got some quality skates I bought out but there. But you can, if you like and a look, boot, D, you can always change this, the truck. Yeah, you can look, D, uh -huh. they turning these shoes into oh some skates. Oh, my God. See how they got this press, ain't it? Yeah. <laughs> well, that's what they used to do out here a lot. My son so had, when he was a regular at, had boot Jordans. You gonna put, put that's put a your, big, strong boot. You going to put your own shoe on there? He didn't, no, they can his, turn. They can boot. turn your shoes into, the skate. into skates. Mm -hmm. You give them the artwork. They trick it out for you. That's why wow. I did with them boots right there. Yeah, that's gonna look sharp. I like that though. Somebody say I got the Twizzler oh, bikes. Oh, that was in. your skates. Them, yeah, them they're gonna boots? put the trucks on it. Them boots gonna yeah. be turning the skates. Oh, yeah. that's gonna be. That is that's gonna be the shit. Uh -huh. Yeah, and they they put the quality wheels on there. Yeah, the that's the, the main the thing. If you really the gonna truck, pay the truck for the, the wheels. you gotta have yeah. the right barbarians in it. The yeah. Everything. Yeah. You gonna pay for the real shit. But see, skating will get you in shape. Yeah. I'm not talking about just skating at the rink. I'm talking about if you fit a motherfucker, get out there. And Outside, like, yeah. <laughs> But see, you can skate along the beach, motherfucker. Mm -hmm. You ain't got no regular job, and you just motherfucking get up in the morning and go skating. But the problem is, I have to wear the knee pads, the elbow pads. Because oh, yeah. he's, yeah, he's just starting. Because yeah. I know plenty of people fall and break their wrist, bust their knee, all that shit. And you fifty age. Yeah. Nigga, you know how long that shit take if you break your motherfucking six wrist? Six years. Nigga. Ooh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You better be dressed like you're going to the roller derby. Right. I am, dog. So I'm going to be out there looking like I'm motherfucking trying but to I protect stay with them. myself. If you keep them in the car, then you can just, just but skate But a lot of people who live out here on this West Coast, life is such a hustle and bustle. Most people don't enjoy the fact that we live on an ocean front mm -hmm. where they have bike paths and, and things like that. Well, you can get out there and get it in. If, yeah, you you got can... the type, if you got the type of job where you can get out there during the day, it's beautiful. I, I used to live in Long Beach, man. I used to always ride my bike along Ooh, the bike trail. Oh, that's a nice trail, trail right there. Trail. You got to get back yeah. on that bike, boy. Uh -huh. I'm telling you, man. Sure what do. we do, we let shit get in our motherfucking mind every day where we be like, oh, fuck it. Dog, I'm telling you, man, this week, everybody, I'm telling you this is what's happening. I'm cutting off my phone. I can't answer my phone until I get through. Working out. Well, what I'm Cam doing, because if you answer the phone. Oh. So I'm going to take you away from what you do. You know, Corey, mm -hmm. I can't ride the whole 15 miles. I ain't going to lie. But one day, man, in you ain't the future, 15 miles. I'm, gonna ride, 15 I'm miles. just going to ride a little bit. I'm going to go out there when you go out there one day and just ride. Just start riding every day. But mm -hmm. I also I also would recommend Is it a trail, you, though, where you going? There's some beautiful trails out trail. here. Mm -hmm. You know, I can ride during the uh, pandemic. You can still do it now. But there's a there's a trail from Culver City all the way Somebody to the beach. Somebody said I need to skate all the bubble way to Santa Monica Fuck without niggas. going on the street. You know who it's I a, be. It's Fuck a private yup. Wow, it's beautiful. Nice. It's beautiful. You rode that before? I roller skate and and have ridden my bike on it. I love that. Damn, dude, if you get used woman. to it, dog, it's a good thing because it becomes an urge <laughs> and you don't let people take you away from your shit. Yeah. I, I let people take and me away from my shit. I get up in the morning, I be putting out fires. You release them endorphins from sweating, mm -hmm. man. There you go. Hey, well, we're going to wrap anyway. this shit up. You dig what I'm saying? God damn it. 50, 150. Oh. Let me tell you something. Before I go, I got to say this. Thank you, Philadelphia, for coming out like y'all did. And Chi-Town, y'all motherfuckers did y'all thing. Mm. So loud. Shot Town Theater. I didn't think to have some cameraman out there. They say the footage outside was crazy. Oh, but well maybe you the whole get... city was out there. When motherfuckers couldn't get tickets, they had the police directed people from the area because it was so packed out there. It was an event in the city. And I want to tell y'all this, man. Your boy, I did what I said I'ma do as people who went. I'm talking about I had I got the roar from the crowd. I didn't get like, ha, 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 ha. It was like roars. And I wind up hosting the show. That's home base, That too. is nice. See, yeah. the mm -hmm. good thing about me hosting the show, people say, Corey, it seemed like a variety show. Oh, you was a host. I hosted it. Wow. And killed it, huh? I got a show coming up in Detroit. I think he should let me host it because, God damn it, I, I bring something to the show when I host it, man. But I'm just saying. You liked hosting better, though? I know. like, I'll, If you want the crowd not to wait to the end to get the roar, Gotcha. I bring a roar out of the crowd. The shit I be talking. Bye, guys.
They mob it up about this motherfucker. Peace out. I, <laughs> when I'm on stage, <laughs> listen, man, I, I'm not a bragger. I'm not saying this to put nobody else down. Ain't nobody doing this like me right now. That's why I ain't on a lot of them tours, man. I'm serious. Them motherfuckers with the bigger names, they be like, oh, no, hell no. Not Corey. It mainly be because I'm going to bring out a roar in the crowd where they get a real laugh. They get a real strong laugh. We got San Diego coming up, right? San Diego coming up. Is that the? Is, oh, they're always good. San it's at Diego. the Dave and Buster's out there. We got two Shinos. Buy your tickets, good. San Diego. If it wasn't worth it, I wouldn't tell you. Is I wouldn't even just try to sell you a ticket because I want you to come and I want to make some money. Yeah, any of those close shows. It's like it's hey. at the House of Blues. House of my Blues. bad. Okay. Hey, hey, House of Blues, to... San Diego. Two What's... shows. Oh wow. Two shows. Wait a minute. It's on the tour thing, right? San Diego, September 23rd, 7 o'clock show, 11 o'clock show. Do yourself a favor and buy them tickets. I'm telling you, man, it's that time where my material has developed into something where I'm a monster now. I mean, I'm always good, but I'm saying right now, and I'm looking at Phil looking at me because Phil no comedy. I'm telling you, man. Right now, my material is so strong, it will throw off other acts oh, in the industry. Hear. They can't be on stage with me. Hey, I see Somebody you. said I RZA see Islam you. lit it up too, so I forgot about RZA you. Islam went on stage, and you know what, I want, what I'm going to do next time? I'm going to do it just like we do it on I the show. Go I'm going to have question and answer with RZA Islam. Oh, that's uh -huh. nice. I might yeah. try to bring RZA Islam to San Diego if I can get him away. It's a smaller venue, RZA. I definitely so want to go to that. It yeah, ain't sweet nice like local, that on yeah. this lick. I need you to <laughs> fuck with me. It ain't sweet like that. I need you to just fuck with me on this lick. But I got, RZA Islam works. Yeah, hey, RZA Islam. We had um, the young lady. I am so embarrassed I'm forgetting her name. It was my first time working with her. Mm -hmm. And she held her own. I'm talking about, and I was hosting. And she was the first act that went out there. She held her own. I forgot the name of the young lady who was on the show. They're going to say it in a second. Yes. Yeah, What's her name? Fab Monroe. Fab Monroe went out there after me. And good. I'm telling you, man. Nice. Hey, man. It, Marvin Phipps, he's been on the show. Oh, he's he hilarious. He always knocks yeah, him upside he, the head. Mm -hmm. My man, motherfucking from the goddamn. That nigga got Chris Powell up there. I'll be forgetting. CP went up, knocked him upside the head. Motherfuckers was rolling when the singer, Slick J. Adams, he could sing. Then when they heard me sing for real, because like when I really do my shit, it works. I, I'm not, a, I can't, I'm only ready for game day. Slick J. Adams hadn't seen me sing for real. Hey, you, and when we was in the uh, walkthrough, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. He was like, nigga, yeah. I was like, Aww. I'll be ready at game time, hey, trust hey, me. You know it was a good show when you, you remember when you did the um, YouTube theater? Yeah. Oh, you know, oh, did I did a, a couple show. of songs. Yeah, y'all was say I was surprised, but I said motherfucker can sing. Dog, I'm telling you, motherfucker. But the crowd, the crowd laughed that whole show. The, it was nobody in there was left disappointed, man. That's you, you what's gave up, a great man. show. I'm just letting y'all know we got. But hey, those are the dates, right? Put them tour put dates them back, back up, up real tour quick before we up. get out of here, if you can. There you go. What's that? Uh, October, New Orleans. See, he can't see very well. October 14th in New Orleans. Okay, he needs help. October 20th, Memphis. <laughs> he needs help. October 22nd, New York. See, I don't know the name of these venues. What's that, Northfield, Ohio? Oh, they don't have the name of the venue. That's Cleveland area. Oh. Yeah. Oh, yeah, the one night in Huntsville, and then we going to Nashville after that. And I, always, I ain't even worried about it. Nashville always come out. Nashville always come out. I'm telling y'all, man, in Nashville, they be so happy to see good comedy, man. Listen, I'm not bragging. I'm just telling you. This is legendary you, times for me. My material is strong now. I'm talking about it's always strong, but I'm saying like right now, I watch what happens with the crowds, and I'll be like, damn, I'm Diego? knocking their ass upside the head. San Diego's the 23rd? Okay. San Diego the 23rd, two shows. I House of Blues, go God damn it. One show at 7 o'clock, one show at 11 o'clock. Y'all buy them little pussy ass tickets. tickets. That's that's considered an LA show. I mean, when you're in that, you know, San that Diego. kind of San Diego, close two and a half. That's close proximity. Yeah, that's two right. hours. Yeah. Two hours. Yeah. Don't drive during the day. I'm going down there the night before. I ain't gonna be in that traffic exactly. on no Saturday. Right, right. You lost your motherfucking mind. It's four hours to you get doing, to San Diego. You doing two shows in San Diego. <laughs>
Yeah. <laughs> if you leave on Saturday to go to San Diego on Saturday, it's four hours. It's like driving Chicago to St. Louis. Yeah, you better Man. leave hell early. You killed the Philly show, bro. And shout out to my boy, boy Rick, for introducing me to you backstage. You're a real one. Aww. Hey, man, let me tell you something. That Philly That's show was dope. And I was out there on stage taking pictures with people because I couldn't Whoa. go out in the crowd. So I was just bending down on the stage like this and shit. Homie, I'm telling you, Did man. Did you get one of them cheese steaks when you was out there? They, I ain't go to uh -uh. Ishka Bibbles or nothing that? like that. What they say? Back it down. Back it down. Just two more. Wait, wait, wait. Right there. You know who I be said since his booty got ate, his game is strong. Uh, yes. <laughs> D just wanted to repeat that because she saw something she could read. Woo! That's right. You know who I be. We are the 5150 show. Y'all motherfuckers, we, we appreciate y'all for fucking with us, man. My man, uh, uh, uh. Spud in this bitch. Uh, we'll see you again. Yeah. Hey man, I enjoyed myself. This is some real shit tonight. We fucking with you, Spud. Detroit? I fuck with you though, Corey. You you a cool nigga, man. They said Spud got knowledge. He Somebody in there said Detroit folks be wearing them shades all the time. They're glad. Oh, yeah, them Detroit players. You all know right. how it is. Yeah, I'm on. I get your anyway. bitch with these shades. What I'm, oh. forget <laughs> what I'm forgetting, Phil. Oh yeah. Do you got social media you want to? Yeah, plug? man. I, I cancel bad credit. And okay. then, then I got a website, man, where you can go to cancelbadcredit.com. That's why you help people with their credit. Yeah, fix their shit. And it oh, ain't no scam. I that, really show I you how to do it. I was going to say that's one of the things that Homeboy got uh, For $129, arrested for. man, you can for fix her. your credit. I give up some shit that the average attorney will charge $3,500 for. That's what Homeboy how they How they get in touch with you? They go me? to cancelbadcredit.com, all one word, and they, and they can go right to it. To be the best thing they, they ever did. Hey, they, 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 they do better. right by the people, man. These motherfuckers. Hey, man, it's thousands of people watching, so thousands of people should go to cancelbackcredit.com and change your well, life. Get ready, dog. You better get your shit together. These motherfuckers no, who really ready need together. you. They're going to be like, what's up, nigga? No, I appreciate Corey having me on the show, man. This, this was a. a what are you passing right out, nigga? Hot tamales. I eat oh, it. Feel no, good don't, to don't me. Give it back, Phil. <laughs> I'm going through You're change. Uh, I'll eat it. Oh, my God. Phil ain't gonna eat it because you gave it to him in front of people. Oh, oh, oh. If you'd have oh, been oh. out there at the car, Phil would have been like, oh, don't, oh, oh, don't, oh. don't. <laughs> Woo, ooh. Don't get your boots dirty. They so pretty. Oh, my God. Look they at that. They so pretty. Your white feet are. Fresh white feet. <laughs> hey, hey, I, I got a quick question for you. I know you was excited to do Chicago. Where is another place you excited to go to that's on your tour? The D. The D? Want me to tell you why I the say Fox I'm excited D to go to the D? Because they real. If you ain't They'll shit, boo your ass if you ain't funny. Tell you get the fuck up out of there. If you ain't funny in the D, dog, it's going to be a long night for you. Real shit. I done seen headliners in there being that motherfucker like. Hey, superstar headliners. People that you think wouldn't get fucked over, they, they, they boo. Did. You can't, you can't you boo. You going to the Fox? Yeah, we at the Fox, Fox dog. Fox theater in the motherfucking house. Yeah. Somebody said my credit good anyway. That's the nigga who need to call you. Yeah, you ain't lying. Hey, motherfucker, just say that, man. I got fucked up credit. Right, somebody, Lawrence Jones, say promo code 5150. I ain't going to even do it like that, man. I fuck with him. I want him to hit some licks on the show, man. Let the man help there you out. You go. see, he doing, it. He doing it for some that motherfucking is. fair, whatever, whatever, though, fair money. Fuck with him. See if he can hey, motherfucking hey, help hey, you Corey, out. Hey, Corey, let me tell you something else. Then I give him a, a, a small booklet, man, to teach them why they can repair their credit. So you're going to understand why you can do it. Because a lot most, of Most people don't, don't yeah. understand the importance of credit. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem. And they don't even know how to start to combat the system. So right. I teach you what to do and why it works. You not only help them, you show them the game. Yep, and then you can help other people fix their credit, man. Okay, how about you that? You see All what right. I'm saying? See why I fuck with them? Anyway, let me tell y'all motherfuckers something, dog. The night is over with the 5150 side of the game, but we appreciate all y'all. Once again, Philly, Chi-Town, man, y'all motherfuckers made me proud. Chicago, them motherfuckers look at you like you crazy when you walk out there, but I knocked their ass. Them motherfuckers didn't know what they was finna see. When was the last time you had been to Philly? Had it been a while? I do Philly once a year. Oh, okay. You can't get motherfuckers used to you in this game. Right. When you see artists go back to the same city twice a year, they just in it for the money grab. Mm. <clears throat> Unless I come back with a music show. I, I be thinking I can do this music and shit, but sometimes I be scared. But if you like 5150, you would like the music I write. I write crazy music. My music ain't meant to sit there and motherfucking be like, oh, my music is sitting there to be like, this nigga's stupid. <laughs>
<laughs> but but the shit sound good you know, though. That's there's some stupid shit that sound good though. <laughs> anyway, mm -hmm. we gonna sign up out this bitch, man. We once again we thank y'all for that fucking helicopter. with us. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 hey, I wonder. I bet a million motherfuckers try to duplicate that sound. Oh can't my do god, it. Oh, yeah. that's hard to do. That do is that. the helicopter. Oh, yeah? mm -hmm. That's, that's probably. What coin like a motherfucker be trying to do that. and we are at the coin academy yes we at the world famous and coin this academy. is a beautiful place too it? ain't this nice man this is yes. nice it's and nice. it's black owned this mm -hmm. is nice mm -hmm. it's dope man it's dope man um all right man we up man we'll catch y'all next week man 5150 50 in the house